Hello, friends and foes, fays and fiends, and welcome to Quests and Chaos. My name is Alondra Heilman, aka Lady Bedivere, and tonight I will be your heist handler as we continue our playthrough of Keys from the Golden Vault with part two of Viterant's Vault, which is the level seven adventure in this anthology. Uh, before we get started, though, I would be remiss if I did not remind you that, as always, we are sponsored by the Deck of Inspiration. Uh, we love this supplement. It adds a lot of shenanigans to our games and also makes our super deadly encounters completely beatable. Um, and thanks to our lovely patrons, uh, we have a couple of cards left over from last week, which we can uh, take a quick look at. One was, I think, granted by Squeal the Bard, and one was purchased with coins that were left over at the end of last week. Uh, could you just let us know what those cards are? Yes, we have Boosted Seal, which was purchased at the end of last week, mm -hmm. or art, and then we have Elemental Reaction. Wonderful. Um, and of course, since it's episode two, you know that there's going to be battle, which is why we are also using our initiative trackers. These are super handy. They sit at the top of my uh, my DM screen so that I can line them up. These are blanks, but the cool thing about these is that they are fillable PDFs, so you can fill in all of the information you need a quick reference about for your players, their AC, their uh, passive perception, one that I always have to make note of because everybody's always like got a 97 passive perception and can see through walls, um, and I have to know that. Um, but uh, this is a super cool thing that has just now become available on the DMs Guild if you oh. want to use our version of it. If you are a patron, you can get it in the pinned post in Patreon, always and forever, or you will be able to shortly if it's not pinned. Drive through RPG. Drive through RPG, I am so sorry. The it's other one. <laughs> They're all, they all talk to each other. Yes. Drive through RPG. <laughs> Yay. Uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, if you want to get some cool initiative trackers that you can just uh, form fill and have ready to go, uh, we used them in the arena last uh, Saturday as well. They were super helpful. Um, all my people are scared because they see them here and, <laughs> and then they know that means that there's going to be a fight. Um, anyway, thank you all. Uh, our tavern upkeep is at like 50.01113% or something like that. We did the math earlier. Um, thank you. That is thanks to all of your coins, your patronage, your uh, every other way that you support us that I have lost track of. Um, it's not written on my slide. That was a me problem. That's my bad. Um, anyway, uh, so with all of that uh, matter done, let's get into a quick little recap. Last time, the newly married Stuart returned from his arrow shot wedding and honeymoon on the run, <laughs> only to be immediately summoned along with Gemma, Sloane, and Huey to do the Golden Vault's bidding. The crew met up in the back room of Dave's bar and were joined by Verity, an old colleague of Priscilla's with ties to the Silver Finger Society, a top level organized crime syndicate, which has recently come under new leadership. That new leadership, a dwarf named Sampheth Goldenbeard then arrived to present a job to the team. His former partner in crime, the infamous thief Nixalana Viterant, has in her possession a ruby diadem which belonged to one of Goldenbeard's ancestors, a dwarven queen. He is offering any party who can recover the diadem full membership into the Silver Fingers without any of the usual trials, as well as a possible cash reward or even a favor from the society. Although a little suspicious of this offer, the team agreed and set off to do the hardest part of the job, actually finding the location of Viterant's infamous vault. <laughs> After tracking down a couple of the vault's guards at a dance bar, the team played drinking games and comf comforted a crying girl in the bathroom until they were able to figure out the location of the vault in an unmarked warehouse down in the shipping district. Now, after three days of casing the joint, the team is getting ready to infiltrate. We open on our party, crammed up in a large, but uh, mostly empty room in a warehouse next to the warehouse that you all know to secretly be Viterant's vault. Uh, there's a couple of like, you know, cast off chairs that you have procured, some boxes that are shoved in a corner. Um, this is uh, in the warehouse next door, the one with that obnoxious alarm going off. Uh, which you were able to uh, 
assist by shutting off and resetting their alarm thanks to Sloan's, mecha Sloan's mechanical know-how and ability to read on and off switches. <laughs> <laughs> but they were very grateful and were happy to essentially like rent you the upstairs room that they weren't using. A little extra cash for them and gave you all a perfect vantage point to watch the comings and goings of uh, the vault guards. Um, you've uh, staked it out for about three days, taking turns uh, tracking shifts, keeping track of guards who come in and out and the timeline of that. Uh, while some of you have also taken rotations back to the dance bar to uh, meet more of the guards, try to, try to listen in for more information. And now you feel like you've pieced together enough to, uh, to come up with a plan, especially since uh, Verity returned uh, very excitedly this morning with a hand-drawn map. Uh, which he procured from a somewhat disgruntled ex-guard. He's <laughs> uh, very helpful. Yes, uh, who was, uh, does not want to be involved with whatever it is you guys are doing, but was very happy to uh, contribute if it means he can stick one to his <laughs> former employer. Um, so uh, you guys are now, uh, it seems like it's gotta be go time. Um, and since it's about to be go time, Two coins oh. from Duke Fleek. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the Give duel. Uh, uh. Thank oh. you, Duke. Oh. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the secret door at? Um, the secret door you're pretty sure is on the southwest corner. Oh, I didn't grab my pen. Oh no. Um, I might have just. <laughs> I was to say it's North stashed there. somewhere. Um, so never eat soggy wool. Never eat Samuel? <laughs> no, also. never eat soggy waffles. Samuel's fine. Just don't eat the waffles that are soggy. <laughs> don't eat Samuel's waffles. waffles. Don't eat Samuel's waffles. Yeah. <laughs> what is D? What is the direction so, D? Never eat. I know. I gave you a compass. Um, uh, you believe it's over here. Okay. Thank you. Nice. So. Oh. Chicane in the space, which should provide a nice little hiding spot. Mm -hmm. Secret door. Um, <laughs> I was like, discuss your yeah. infiltration plan because I'm going to step away from the chair and get a pen. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. I know. I'm thinking of visibility as a mm -hmm. sort of general. I'm, sure. I'm, I'm shrinking in visibility. That was really good, yeah. Stuart. Yeah. Oh, thank that you. That was a good accent. You're going back to that the speech. Well, when I go undercover, obviously, I will need to speak like this, otherwise they'll know exactly who I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was his most distinctive trait when he was on the watch was his <laughs> accent. <laughs> mm. Oh, I had a quick question. Yes, absolutely. Would we have been able to procure uh, some kind of look-alike uh, uniforms? So. From Petey. Here's the interesting such. thing. You absolutely got enough information. You you were able to kind of get a good sketch of what this emblem looks like. Sent that off to PD. You haven't heard back from him, which is very unusual. You sent that to him on like the first night, like after like crying drunk girl in the bar. You were able to like fully like mm -hmm. trace that down while you guys were like comforting mm -hmm. the little gnomish gal. Um, you sent that off to PD days ago, and you haven't heard anything back. Um, that said. It would not be super difficult to get just the generic coveralls, and then between just general skill sets that people have in things like disguise and mm -hmm. like you know shift weave, at least shift weave things that like you would be able to disguise create self. the yeah. the uh, okay. patches. You can either disguise self with it or like there's enough of you that have like just crafty skills that you would be able to like embroider in something that looks close enough to mm -hmm. the uh, at first glance. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Verity knows how to stitch his own clothes. Mm. <laughs> Very cool. Gemma can work with like small instruments. That's true. You know, you can figure it out. <laughs> small instruments. <laughs> and tiny violins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're thinking secret door. Yeah. Right into the gem room. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little distracting. Add another M and an A, and it's your room. It's my. It's yeah. right there. Uh, oh, sorry. We thought it was her room. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, she belongs That's here. Fault. It's got a name on it. Uh, the green room. The musician's other natural habitat outside the stage. <laughs> Is she, uh, right? 
with like. Does that seem too easy? With to go in the okay. secret. I mean, <laughs> the so first floor has their gems, place. their weapons, their. It is vaults, weird that their secret everything. door goes right into your like expensive. Well, it also strikes me as strange too. I, I don't, I don't know if I'm making this more complicated than it actually is, but I would think that it wouldn't be in any of these rooms. It's probably where the question marks are, or where <laughs> the veteran space is, because you know, it's like a like a trophy of sorts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I. Yeah, I'd go with that. I mean, the safes would be probably the only other place, but that, I, someone that high up, they've got to be keeping it, like you said, in their personal space instead. Right, because it's like, you know, hey, I defeated the guy. I forgot the guy's name. You know, Sam, the guy. Sam Fish. That guy. Yeah. But, yeah, I do think it seems too easy. Have we noticed anyone on the roof? Since you have not noticed anyone on the roof, um, there's the two guards are always stationed on that balcony out in the front, um, and you do know that they only access the balcony from the rope ladders. Um, nobody seems to have ever gone to the roof. Nobody seems to use the balcony doors. Um, uh, I will say, because you made a very high persuasion check to get that map for me before uh, camera started rolling. Uh, <laughs> um, I will also say um, in regards to, actually, you were the one who found out about the secret door. Um, so you would have this information. You could probably confirm it a little bit with just hearsay that you got from your guy. Um, uh, the secret door seems to be a way that Viterant likes to get in and out so that she doesn't have to go through all of the security folks and draw attention mm -hmm. to the front of the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's rational. So we just go through the secret door and then we check out the gem room and probably the safes. And then if it's not in either of those... Then it's probably upstairs. Then it's probably upstairs. Then we gotta go through weapons and armor. We gotta go through animals? We gotta go through animals. And the li art library. There's no, there's, and the library. Yeah, one it's direction. It's like a whole maze. Uh, yeah. It could be scrolls in the, in the Have library. Have we, in terms of behavior patterns, notice like, do the guards interact with each other in specific ways? Do they interact with Viteran in specific ways? Like, do they look like they're giving each other like the password of the day <laughs> or? Um, when you when you see them change shifts, uh, there does seem to be a little bit of like that like moment of handoff, right? There's usually like a little bit of conversation before they tag in and out. You've also caught that <coughs> when when the new shift arrives, so the new shift like the new shift arrives every four hours, um, and six come, six leave, and then there is more internal shuffling. From the best you guys have been able to piece together, it looks like there are 12 people on site at all times. 12 guards on site at all times. Mm -hmm. Three outside, nine inside. Um, when Viterant, you have actually seen Viterant show up a couple times, or at least someone who fully matches her description. That's the only other person aside from the guards that you have seen come to this location. So presumably it has to be her. Um, she, does not see, there, there seems to be just like a general sort of like deference, like there is an acknowledgement that she has arrived, but there doesn't really seem to be too much visible interaction outside of the building. She mostly shows up and like, you've seen her like, you have seen her go through the front door into the lobby. It seems to be like, get in as quickly as possible. Um, probably because she's not wanting to be seen hanging around here and draw attention to it. Have we seen her go in the secret door? Give me a luck check. Ooh, 17. 17. Uh, yes. Or at least you saw her walk by that wall and then not be on the other side of it. Got it. So we didn't see, like, if there's any sort of, like, area to push or... Uh, yeah, you weren't able to quite figure out the mechanism. You and Sloan uh, were able to kind of sneak around. Uh, you figured out a little bit... There's a couple of guards who are a little more routine in how they patrol around the outside of the building than others. Some try to be more erratic and some of them are just pretty like doing the lap. 
Um, so with one of the guys that's a little more predictable, you were able to kind of get up closer and look, and it looks like it is probably some sort of arcane situation. Um, but it, you weren't able to be there long enough to tell if it's a trigger, if it's like physical trigger or an arcane trigger. Have any of us have been able to like do a little sweep with detect magic to see if that door like? I will. It, I will say that if you wanted to do a detect magic sweep, that that you guys would have been able to okay. figure that out. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way that we the door's magic and the security attached to the door doesn't extend a certain amount. Detect magic, you would actually figure out exactly what it is. It's not arcane at all, but it's made to look like it. The entire building is warded against arcane entry. Great. You cannot dimension door into this building. You oh. cannot tell, oh, oh, like, yeah, like it, the, the whole thing is warded so that you cannot use magical means to wind up inside. Okay. Um, cool. Whoops. That was my idea. <laughs> so much for my crafty misdirect. You figured it out. Again, not expecting people to have magic for some reason. Or not expecting you guys to use it anyway. Mm. I still think that's our best way in. I think you're right. I think we just maybe make ourselves look like gods and... Uh... The guards, all of them enter through the balcony or they all enter through the wall? They enter through the front door always. Um, if they are posted to the balcony, they climb up the rope ladder to get to the balcony. Which is like right um, above it. But yes, which is right there. But they only, you have only ever seen them go through that front way. So it's, they check in in the lobby and then go back out to head up? Yeah. Okay. And that the, seems to be the case. Does the patrol go around the whole building? The patrol goes around, the, there's one guy that loops the building in whatever pattern he chooses. Um, and then there's two who are posted up on the balcony. You guys also have figured out that there are two, that there are always two people in the in lobby. lobby yeah. um, the lobby is set up to look kind of generic. Um, and if somebody like tried going in, just tried wandering in, you basically got to like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, no, you're probably looking for something else. Like this isn't open to the public. They're clearly there posted to be, to do exactly that, mm -hmm. to be like, oh no, 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 you're looking, you're in the wrong spot. Uh, um, and just fully misdirect anybody who comes in. Well, the way the guards get in, would they have like some kind of like, sh well, we have seen whether or not they show off like a badge or something? It they seems to be that embroidery on their, okay. it seems to just be the uniform. Mm -hmm. They're dressed in generic coveralls because they're trying to draw as little attention to themselves as possible. Okay. But they have to have that insignia on their jumpsuit. Is there any magic it. attached to any of the jumpsuits? Not that you have been able to okay. find. So it seems then. It seems like they're actually very intentionally keeping this low arcana mm -hmm. to make it harder to find them. Yeah. So it would probably be fairly easy for us to just be the new guys. Yeah, if we could figure out who the guards are that are coming and come instead of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. So do we think this would be better done at night, like in the middle of a sh of shift change? Like we could come for the shift change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also means we have to then capture the other guards That's coming true. and subdue them and yeah, or distract them, them somehow. <clears throat> Put them in a bag of holding, something like that. <laughs> just, yeah, I just... think they would suffocate. Yeah. I mean, just leave them in an alley somewhere. <laughs> so it's like exactly yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was the implication. <laughs> Supposed to be like the really legal guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, not saying that we should do that. I was just saying it's an option. Uh huh. We just need to take them out for a fun night. They're a little hungover. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, just mm. take them out dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe do okay. a few more games. Well, the only other thing is, there's five of us and there's oh, six okay. cards that come each time. So what do we need? Yeah. Oh. Or, or as an option, uh, what if uh, we wait till the shift change happens? Mm -hmm. People leave. We see who they are. We disguise ourselves as them, mm -hmm. and then we go back. And I say we go in the secret door, and we're only disguised in case we're caught. That's the theory. That does kind of assume that we, well. For those who can do disguise self, that's one thing, but for uh, right. everyone else, how are we gonna match their body types? That's true. 
Um, Invisible invisibility. I will say there is there is a decent amount of diversity within these guards. So you could, if you are someone who does not have the ability to shift your body type, um, you could try to identify a guard who you most would resemble <laughs> to take over. You just. Um, you can't necessarily guarantee that, like, the guard that you need to impersonate is going to be on the best shift for when you're breaking, right? Like, you either have to yeah. base your break-in time on who you want to impersonate, or you have to impersonate whoever is at the time you want to be breaking it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Because, like, I don't know if I'm words in good, sorry. You words yeah. did great, my friend. Cool. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And you also, you have spent enough time that there are a handful of guards, for those of you who have things like Disguise Self, or even Disguise Kits, you have spent enough time watching these people over the last few days is I'm I'm gonna give you the like you can make a, a decent deception check to okay. mm -hmm. impersonate these people at least visually. Mm -hmm. um, you do not know all of their likes and hopes and dreams and personalities, mm -hmm. but you can get like a basic facsimile of like innocuously being able to move by and hopefully not get clocked as not being the person. Stuart, I really like your your thought there. My only question is if we get in there dressed as the previous shift. We might get a lot of questions. Like, what are you doing here? You just didn't you leave. Did you just leave? Yeah. Yeah. That's my one concern. Ha ha Makes sense. Well, um, None yeah. of them are rabbits, right? None of the guards are rabbits. <laughs> um, there is one guy that clearly has some pet that he keeps smuggling in because you can see it moving independently of anything else. <laughs> it's <a pocket. laughs> so it's, it's definitely pocket size. You're not sure if it's a pet or a familiar, and you're not quite sure what kind of animal it is, mm -hmm. other than it's small enough to fit in a pocket. Could be a rabbit. Is there anything that <laughs> this is not making me think, is there anything that I could potentially disguise Theo as that would be appropriate, like a construct of some kind? We Have we put seen a, anything? Throw a sheet over him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's just, a ghost. Just so put a mustache on it. I think it's, yeah. um, you haven't really seen anything like that. Again, everything seems fairly low tech, at least externally. Um, or low I, I, I like the idea of some combination of disguise self and invisibility, mm -hmm. just going in the secret door, just yeah. okay. being quiet. And then if we get caught, I think the, most of us are pretty charismatic. We can probably talk our way out of it. All right. Um, Gemma, mm -hmm. uh, give me a luck roll. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a fun one based on- Nat 20. Yeah. Based on conversations you've had in the bar. <laughs> Um, these folks really like their job because there's a lot of job security. Because obviously when you work for a like, very famous international thief, um, they really don't want to have a high turnover rate. <laughs> that said, there is a lot of grumbling now about not getting, like feeling like maybe it's time for a pay bump. And somebody did just get fired like <gasps> a couple of days ago. Mm. And oh, so there, no. is, there is some tittering of concern and unrest. Um, so you feel like uh, being able to like talk or possibly bribe your way out of a situation is more on the table now than it might than have three been days ago. three days ago. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, <laughs> just, you know, a, a vibe you're getting. I wrote that down so that we didn't forget it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. Bribe. 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 <laughs> um, is there are there any supplies that you need to that you want to try to pick up? I will I will go ahead and say that like despite having not heard from Petey, you can very easily like call one of the other kids and get them at least get some coveralls that you can embroider. Mm -hmm. Um do you want to try to recruit a sixth person to go with you so that you can do a full complement of options. covering uh, a shift? Not Good. Priscilla. Not Priscilla. No. <laughs> See if Dave wants to take a night off of bar. We could. Uh, I, sure. That's why I was like, can Hyacinth be a person? <laughs> <laughs> Do we really? But I mean, if we, if, if the, mm, well, if we're, we're not, going in the say, secret door. You, no, no, no. You asked if one of the guards was a rabbit. You uh -huh. did not ask if Hyacinth could be that a person. That is true. <laughs> I, I was gonna say if we were um, going through the secret door, at a shift change, and we look like the people that just got off work, then it, we don't, it, need, we don't need a, a sixth yeah. person. Yeah. person. If we were gonna take over for a shift that was just arriving, mm -hmm. yeah, then we would. That would make sense. But. 
Can I, is it possible for me to program a uniform into the shift weave? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I mean, not to try to feed you stuff, but just pointing out like obvious D&D tropes. All of these guys go to that one bar. Like everybody visits the same one bar because it's the closest one. You could also just knock some people out and steal their clothes mm -hmm. if you wanted oh, to. Oh, that's true. You just pile bodies in a bathroom. Or convince yeah. them to go on strike. <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea. <laughs> I like Stuart, that better than leaving you really the bodies know where there's a trail. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, well. um, so you can shift weave. Okay, I have a glamour weave, yeah. Okay. And a disguise self. And it, okay. I have a disguise self. And I can disguise shelf or invisible, but I can't do both. What I, are you? I can do both. I've got a kit. You've got a kit. So we need one uniform for Huey. You one uniform for Huey um, and, and find one, like, Human dude, that that part's not super hard. There's several human dudes along the group. Honestly, you could probably disguise him as a uh, as a uh, balladeer. Mm. Oh, the guy we were the talking. guy you mm -hmm. talked to yeah. on the first mm -hmm. night. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's should, a great idea. Yeah, and we spent a lot of time talking to him. Yeah, so you could probably yep. yeah, you you performancey. Yeah, you could very easily. Um, and you, if you're trying to go in at night, you know that he uh, works day shift. Oh, great. Because that's how you ran into the bar of the evening. That's right. It was just getting off work. Perfect. OK. OK. Secret door. Mm -hmm. Disguised as the previous, previous shift. <laughs> <laughs> so much contour. It fully changed the shape of his face. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. That, that's All the right. plan. That, that's the plan. Cool. You spend uh, the remainder of the afternoon just, you know, casting your magics, uh, making sure you've got your appropriate gear, sending any messages or leaving any notes that you do or th th that you want to, or uh, removing traces of where you have been. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, all the usual prep things. Earrings. Oh. I have a message. Oh, yeah, that's so right. Huey gets one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And we give one to Stuart. Stuart, do you have a message? Maybe, no. No, you don't have no. Yeah, he had to use one last time from what I remember. Mm -hmm. Right. I think Huey and Stuart had the earrings last time and Stuart had the bracelet. Okay, well, hold, right. on, hold on, hold on, wait. So, <laughs> if you have the earring, then you can talk to Gemma, and if Gemma gives you hair, then Gemma can talk to you. With the earrings can communicate only with to each, each other. To each other, yeah. So then if they have the earrings, they can only talk to each other. No, no, hair. The hair bracelet. So. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna rule, as, as much as I love the red string of trying to figure out who can talk to you. No, 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 I love it, but I, just for your guys' sake too, we're gonna say that the the earrings essentially work as, as like message. a message spell. So, so you can direct it to whoever you, I'm not gonna to make them it. bind Ooh. to each other. You can okay. direct it to whoever you need under the same Perfect. conditions as a message spell. Thank you. Yes, I'm just Thank like, you, we're just gonna make this so much easier. <laughs> like, uh, because I'm gonna like I should telephone. Yeah. Stuart still has to take the bracelet, though. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, it's friendship. Yeah. It's friendship. I think that I should uh, attempt to. Uh, you, do you have disarm, like ability to unlock traps and things? Mm. Oh, I okay. Mm. <laughs> then I will do that. Oh wait, I lied. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm an artificer. I don't have. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, mean, it is, I can totally do that. Outside of the action, it's my one thing, so. Yeah. Uh. Well, you know. <laughs> you should do your one thing. You're probably really good at that thing, right? Uh, actually, let me look. <laughs> yeah. Yes, am I, really? I am very good I was going to say, I think you're really good at the thing, Stuart. Okay. Okay. So, um, I did not actually write myself a clock of when the shift change happens. I don't care. We're going to say it happens at 8 p.m. Beautiful. Yep. That sounds like a good time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you guys uh, gear up uh, and are ready to just slide in. Um, you guys have a key because you're renting this office. So you have a key to the warehouse next door, so you guys can all just hide out there and watch, you know, for the shift change to happen. Um, you guys are on the west side of the building, so you can see. Um, 
Yeah, over here. you're on the west side. So you can see the balcony, and if you kind of run into the back part of the warehouse, you can peer out, that you guys are in, you can peer out another window, and that's how you can see kind of where that mm. back wall is. So you can mm. watch for the patrol. That's how going long around. does it take him to do a lap normally? That's a good question. Let me. Da, 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 um, uh, if there's not a time, can we say ten minutes so I can cast a tech? I was gonna say I'm gonna. <laughs> no, I was. I was like, I just wanted to look at like the grid to be like, how big is this building? Like how how many, fast yeah. they walk? I'm gonna say it's probably like between ten and twelve minutes to do a full lap, okay. depending on, you know, if he's just doing the casual stroll and not. And if you need more time, we can throw a rock. <laughs> in another direction. <laughs> <laughs> that? What was that? <laughs> um, um, Theo has gotten very good at mimicking the sounds of all of the different alarms that go off in this area because <gasps> Theo doesn't have anything else to do, so uh, he's just learning how to Such mimic all of the little boy. electronic sounds. Oh my so god. You can also send Theo off to like be a diversion if you need. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna sort of twist the ring of uh, spell storing and cast uh, detect magic. So I have it up. Beautiful. Um, if we're taking 10 minutes, I'll just, let's take 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> let's take 10 minutes. Let's take 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to, to cast Detect Magic. Are you also going to do it? Uh, uh, Why not? Why not? Look, if you guys do need to split up, then you've got two people with yeah. Detect Magic up for I think it's great. Our, ten, it's only 10, ten minutes. minutes. It's, it's, yeah, because it lasts. It's a duration. 10. It lasts for 10, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I think so. I was going to say, you'd think I would know this after a hundred years of Cheryl finding every trap I ever planted because she had the tech magic. Um, cool. Um, yeah, you guys uh, see the shift change happen. You take your 10 minutes, you cast your rituals, um, and then you pop down and head over. Who is going where? Are you all going to the secret door? I think maybe Stuart and I are going to go look at the door first yeah. Uh, yeah. and try to figure out what's happening, investigate the door. Mm -hmm. I'll cool. do like a casual lean on one corner just to like keep an eye out Perfect. around the lobby way. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a <gasps> hilarious map reveal um, so that oh, I can start so placing wow. your characters where you guys are so I can keep track of you. Wow. Oh my god. This map is appropriately sized, unlike that gnome <laughs> village you were in for so long. Oh my goodness gracious, right. yes. So, Sloan and Stuart are going to be over here to check out the door. Yes. Ooh. Is that um, a window by the break room? They're like 10 feet They're high. 10 feet high, but yes, it is. Um, Gemma, you're like, <laughs> want to be like... No, 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 this, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuart does have... Sh I'm doing a little, like, Scooby-Doo. Cool. P. I'll, uh. t I'll take the other, the uh, one over here, then. Checking story work. And where do you want to be, Huey? I'm going to be kind of by the cor uh, corner area, like, near the lobby, so in case any distractions must be made. Cool. Mm. Cool. All right. Yeah, you guys are able to sort of do a casual post up. Oh, and... actually, that is one last question. Yes. Uh, does the guard patrol clockwise or counterclockwise? It actually shows this. Um, he patrols <laughs> clockwise. clockwise. He goes, Ooh, if that's the case, mm. I might actually wait by that side. corner. Got it. Um, okay. Yeah. I think this is a, like a, mm -hmm. a few minute head start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys can absolutely like, like basically like watch for him to like pass this mm -hmm. and then be ready to like scurry out as soon as he's like heading up so that you guys have your, you know, like, okay, here's our clock. We've got eight minutes <laughs> to comfortably do this. Okay. Um, uh, Sloan and Stuart, you both have detect magic up? Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Let me double check this thing. Um. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, one or both of you um, may make uh, perception or investigation checks to find the mechanism to open the door. I will give you something else you would like to guidance. Yeah. We are guided. With my mm. Guiding whispers. You can do it. This. Investigation. Investigation? Well, I'll still, I will also investigate. 23. Great. Um, 
17. 17. Um, you are both able to locate, it takes, it takes you like a minute, but you're both able to locate kind of the like, oh, here's like the crevices in the trigger and it looks like this is something that slides. So it does like a, like the shift mm, and slides mm -hmm. so that it just blends into the wall really easily. Um, you're able to find the mechanisms and between your, you know, roguish talents and your knowledge of mechanics, you're able to be like, oh, it's the like this, you know, and configure door silently slides open. It's gonna like do a little wiggle finger at Stuart. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'll give a message. Uh, the door's open. I will message Huey. Oh, are you messaging Huey? Huey? Let's all message Huey at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> all message Huey. Huey just like a cockney of uh, hey, voices hey. in his head. Door, 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 door. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it was in that thing I ate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool. But yeah, uh, you now have access to uh, the gym room. There's probably yeah. some flavor text I should read. Probably Ooh. just sneaking inside and... Check in for traps. Listen. Oh! Um, Stuart, <laughs> you open the door. I need you to roll me a d4. Oh boy. This is the mechanic of how it is determined. Rather than having to like track a guard patrol, Anytime you enter a room that is part of the patrol inside, you roll a d4 to determine if somebody's in there or not. You got a two? Two. Room's clear. Woo! Room's clear, everyone. Cool. Um, all right. Oh, that's right, I'm just gonna Oh, it. should we all just, <laughs> are we all disguised already, probably? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys are, you guys are all fully disguised. Uh, Check for traps. Cool. Um, yep, I'm looking around for trippy traps. I'm gonna, yeah, just kind of listen on the doorways while everybody gets in. Mm -hmm. Is everybody? Yeah. Yep. Coming in? Yeah. yeah. Just confirming. Yeah, Huey's running his ass over there. Yeah. <laughs> I got my hashtag blessed dice tray because I did not roll well. <laughs> so you can get your own. <laughs> Time to get blessed. Shop.questandchaos.com. Do it. Uh, cool. Uh, you are in this room. So you're you're doing a traditional uh, scan for traps. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, this. The room contains open crates of gems sorted by color and type. Most are neatly faceted, but a few remain uncut. Um, uh, you don't even need to roll, just with your passive and your knowledge. Uh, you look around and you notice that there is a weirdly specifically clean 10 by 10 space in the middle of where all these crates are. Yeah. Like one might say, where this Stupidly obvious dotted line is on the map. <laughs> Don't put the secret items on the player maps, map makers, I'm begging you. <laughs> they know what it means. Um, anyway, but yes, uh, that space that is already conveniently marked. Um, yeah, all the stone, you know, all the stone here looks more like it, nothing's like gross in here, but like it's a room where people are like cutting and polishing gems and there's a lot of dust up, except for this one space that is like pristine. Hmm. Are uh, any of the boxes trapped? I would have to investigate, I think. You uh, would certainly have to get closer. Uh, I think uh, we should plan this as our exit and grab stuff on our way out. Sure. Rather than on our way in. Okay, that's a great idea. Sounds like a plan. Is there a... If we can make it all the way back down here, depending on how speedy we have to exit. Um, there is a door, it's slightly covered by my very, very classy uh, hide the map coverings, um, but there is one door uh, right here. Oh, great. Right. And there is one door right here. Gorgeous. Do we hear anyone eating through that door? Uh, perception check. <laughs> can, I, can I assist? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I in my I'm just thinking gems, 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 gems. gems. <laughs> <laughs> That's what gem is doing. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to what's going on Dang in the freak room. What if I just <laughs> see if there's anyone? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm double checking which room is which just to make sure that everything's complete. Um, I'm listening on T two. Cool. Can you get yeah. Um, go for it. Can you get rid of the magic? Twelve. Twelve. But do you want to do it now? Do you want to do it later? Um, I that we could use. We don't know what we're running into. You, uh, it does, you, you do hear, uh, some movement in there. It's not anything, like, it's not like loud crunching or whatever, but you hear a little bit of movement and then you hear, like, a little bit of quiet talking. 
um, in T2, which you guys know from the map, is the break room. Yeah. So I point there and just go, is there a keyhole to look through or no? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn. What about the other door? Uh, Can I, I look, listen? Yeah, I look at uh, Stuart and Gemma clearly being distracted by gems. Let me go find out for you. I'll listen with you. Can I give assistance? Yes. Okay, we roll that again. is uh, roll oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know how you help someone here with things, okay. but. I was about to say, this is about the most mid dice rolls I've been getting for a while. Uh, 19. <laughs> I, I got him. <laughs> um, like, yeah. Roll me a d4. Okie doke. Wait, no, not that one. <laughs> one. There's definitely someone in there. Cool. Okay, there's someone in there. That's the way we have to go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this for funsies, because uh, I realize this will be a helpful visual. I am going to go ahead and give you guys some markers. Mm. You know that there are going to be two guys in the lobby. Mm -hmm. um, this is just so you guys can help keep track, because we know how many right, guards are around. Um, we know it's not visible in here, so I'll put these two here. There, we know that there's two on the balcony. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's one guy pacing around outside. So those are our three exterior guards. Mm -hmm. um, and you have now heard that there is someone in this room, at least for the time being. Yeah. I do have a question. During our interactions with the people... At least one. With the guards at the bar... Yes. Did we get a level of their... Um, how much it would take to knock them out? Or put them to sleep? Um, <laughs> like, wait, like you had to like put a number to <laughs> it. Yeah. No, that's yeah, if good. I were to hit them, like how many that's a points good, do no, you think that they? That's a very good question, and I think that you guys would be able to have got, you you would have been able to get a bit of a gauge on that. Obviously, um, you're gonna have better luck if they happen to have been at the bar before their shift instead of after, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which it seems like there's a couple of these guards that might do that. Um, Um, they are, despite the fact that everybody appears to be wearing coveralls, they do seem to be pretty decently armored coveralls. Um, and so you would say like it, most of these people can, can take a punch. Um, it might be a little bit of a challenge to just straight up sock somebody out. Um, something like a sleep spell would possibly work, but it's it, it would be kind of a gamble. These are not, mm -hmm. unfortunately, like these are not commoners where it's a sure thing. These guys have some have some meat to them. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna look at everybody and just say, all right, obviously there's something that's going on through those doors. I don't know if it's gonna go well, or if it's gonna go not so well for what it's worth. The best guys I could ever hang out with. It's I'm... the first room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm getting a bad feeling. So I'm trying to motivate myself as much as I'm motivating you. Okay. And with that, I cast motivational speech. Very good. Ooh, and now y'all have five temporary hit points and advantage on wisdom saving throws. Right. Yay! You're so motivated. We love it. Yeah. We might die, but we might not. Yeah. No. Very good. Wow. Really inspirational, quiet speech you gave yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. It was surprisingly intense when what's, you whisper. I'm it. so sorry, what's the duration? Uh, one hour. One hour. One ha. Okay, everyone being like, I hope we're not in here for more than an hour. <laughs> I want to make sure that the secret door shut behind us. Ooh, yes. Totally. Yeah. 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 That's probably a good idea. Okay. And then I think, I think we should just hang out here and wait for that guy to leave. What if, they, what if they're coming this way on their patrol? Oh, shit. We push them into the gem trap, and then we take all the gems. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma. Good. Genius. Focus. <laughs> Thank you. Stuart gets it. Stuart, are those dollar signs in your eyes? <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> Was that a minor illusion? <laughs> I, I think so. do have minor illusions. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's what I can't think, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are dollar. <laughs> and they're spinning like the Looney Tunes. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe we just wait for a moment? Uh, or... or I mean, I'm actually, re- that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Are you being serious right now? Yeah. We came in for one thing! One thing! No, no, not, not take the gems, but knock him into the trap. If he comes in here. Okay, just, just, just. Well, if been... becomes when, as the door opens and you see this guy look and 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 you see and out loud he goes, shit, guys. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. so sorry. Uh, he's like, what the, what are you, what are you, do, how, what's, ha- why are you in here? What's going on? Sorry, I thought I forgot something when um, I left on my shift earlier, and I thought it in wasn't- In the gem room? Well, it wasn't in the break room, and I was, this was the last room I was on patrol in. I figured this was the What did spot. you lose? What did you leave? The keys. How, how, how did you leave your keys Look, I don't like in to the keep, gem room? I don't room. like to keep them in the break room because it, they, you know, what if someone broke in? It's not really safe. You're, you punch them out, that's literally <laughs> your job! Like, Look, this what? is the last time I remember okay, having them, okay, man. I don't okay. know what you want to say. You lost your keys. Why are the rest of y'all here? Moral sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep, sir. I, I mean, at least try deception first. <laughs> I mean, oh. roll a deception check, but if you're that casting sleep, really go ahead reason. and. Uh, never mind. 14. I took Reese instead. Oh, never mind. Oops. Okay. okay. That was oh. only a 14. <laughs> Wait, what did you do? Oh, no, um, uh, I was going to use. I'm going to I'm going to use Okay. What am I gonna use? Wait, please wait. Holding, <laughs> holding. Wait. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm gonna use something that I got. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna use Flash of Genius. Ah. Uh, and I'm gonna um, make like I like I like I found the keys and use my own keys. Uh, that I have a lot of because I own a building. Yep. Um, and oh, look, okay, I, I found oh, a key. Oh my god. Plus three to that roll. <laughs> oh, great. So, so that's makes so it a seventeen. 17. Uh, okay, he looks and he's like, I, I don't know what kind of funny business y'all are up to, but if you're trying to like look, I know. Ever since the the, you know the negotiations for the raise didn't go through and we're having to wait. I know everyone's been a little peeved. Stealing from the boss is not gonna go over well. She knows this inventory forwards and backwards. She's got that weird elf thing where she like can't forget anything that's happened in the last 30 days or whatever the fuck it is. So like, she's gonna know if you steal shit. Go through the break room, go home, okay? Of course, thank you so, thank you for understanding. We'll go right now. Christ, I'm gonna go yeah. feed the fucking cat. Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna do cat. something, actually. Okay. One more thing. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to cast Enthrall. Okay. <laughs> and uh, just, all right, look, I know this, look, I can assure you, we're not doing anything. We're just trying to do what all gar- good guards do and be accountable of ourselves. I mean, look at me, just look at me. (laughs) Do I look like I'm being accountable of myself, not trying to go around a way that people shouldn't? (laughs) And I just like, like almost like gesture to the- Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. doing it. Cool, 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 cool. So he is uh, very focused on you, I assume is the the tactic here. Um, What mechanically are are we doing? Oh, I'm trying to go around. I'm scooting in, yeah, him. scooting into the next room. Yeah, yeah. trying oh. to meander yeah. my way yeah, around. Like, I'm just going like, what? What is yeah, everyone then, doing while you have uh, this? When uh, he's not looking, I'll cast silent image of like uh, the door opening and yeah. people going in oh. to the break room. Yeah, <laughs> there is, there is one in other. In case thing. he looks yes. back, he does have to make a wisdom saving throw. That's what I was. That's what I was looking for before people started moving. Yeah. Was is he gonna? Is this something where he? Oh has yeah, to yeah. Um, that is an 18. Oof. Son of a bitch! So, uh, I think what happens <laughs> is you start telling kind of this, you know, Gemma, you're kind of scooting, you're prepping this thing, and then he looks and he's like, when'd your accent change? Puts his hand on his sword. 
Uh, Attack! <laughs> Attack! Non lethally! <laughs> Everybody roll initiative! Okay. Mm. Uh, first room! It's, there's, it's five on one, guys! I'm just pointing out. I was trying not to fight anybody. These guys just need a oh. union. Okay, uh, Stuart. <laughs> I forgot about the other thing you could have done! 19. 19? Save it for the next turn. Uh, Gemma. 14. Uh, uh 11. <laughs> I didn't even need to pick them up. We're gonna be in the same slump. 17. There we go. <laughs> I forgot to cast Silvery Barbs! Oh no. It's a reaction, and technically he hasn't taken an action for you to react to, so <laughs> you're probably fine. What'd you get for your initiative? I actually got 21. Cool, well y'all are in luck, because he got a whopping five. <gasps> Yay, good job, honey. Good job, bud. Really, really starting me off strong tonight. Um, cool, Huey, you do get to act first. Um, okay, that's As this case. guy puts his hand on his sword um, and looks like he is getting ready to probably shout for uh, the folks that you know are in the break room. You know there's at least one person in the break room. I am going to... Plus the folks in the lobby, so. Let's see. <clears throat> oh my goodness. You know what? How long is that rage for? No, I must save you. <laughs> um, I'm going to take my axe and whop him upside the head with the broadside. Cool, roll me an attack roll. Duke. That is a 21 again. Uh, 21 will hit. I know which die is which. That is a nine. Okay. You whop him upside the head. Um, and he looks very startled. Uh, uh, anything else? I think that is it for now. Great. Uh, Stuart with Sloan on deck. I will uh, hit him with the flat of the blade. Or I will attempt to anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, action. Sorry about this. Yep. It's a 12 to hit. 12 to hit. Does not hit. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Sloan. I'm gonna try to hit him with the butt of my daggers twice. I got a 10 and a 13. Uh, you whiff both times. Damn it. I really so, should use part Um, I, I can't move through space, can I? Uh, I would like to stand and block the door. The break To the room break door? room, yeah. Yeah, you can move over here. Um, Gemma, you can be in a different spot if you want. I just moved no, through because you're getting good. ready to I'm go good. through. Um, it is uh, your turn. I'm also going to attack a dagger pom or attempt a dagger pommel strike. Yeah. Uh, and that's a 14. Misses. We're just creeping up. We'll find it eventually. Yeah. Oh, right. We have little ducats. Oh, wait. I, I am blessed still. Oh, you didn't use the guidance from earlier? Oh, I did. It's a one time use. Never yeah, mind. it's guidance, not blessed. It's not blessed. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Cool. Uh, anything else from you, Gemma? Mm -hmm. Gemma. We do have two coins. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, but those, we already did. <laughs> it's 8 p.m., guys. Can, mm -hmm. I, can I take it after we. After we've oh. declared? You can't after we've declared. Yeah. Right. At least that's how Which I play we've it. Declared. So, oh. does that make sense? No. Okay, um, um, Verity. I'm gonna do an Eldritch Blast. I think I'm gonna pull out my air deck <laughs> and I'm fling the first card off of the top of it. Cool. Uh, that's an 18 on the die for a 25. That'll hit. Uh, that's, that's just a deep 10. Oh my god, Verity, can you read my cards later? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 10. Ooh. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah, you slam him right into the chest. Um, uh, does uh, it's been a long time since I played a warlock? Um, someone who's played from Warzone. Does Eldritch Blast actually include any sort of knockback? If you take repelling if you, blast. Yeah. If you take repelling blast. Thank you. I was gonna say it's like because it sometimes feels like it should. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Did you um, use the wait, so you used Eldritch Blast? Yes. yes. Wait, don't you? Can you shoot two beams? I am only level two warlock. Never mind. <laughs> I can, but no, I'm in melee. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, anything else from you, Verity? Um, I think 
That's it. Cool. Um, actually, I'll bonus action. I'll give a bardic inspiration to uh, Stuart. It's a D8. Oh. Excellent. Um, Let's use it once. Uh, within 10 minutes. Got it. I'm just double checking what these guys do. Um, cool. Um, Fall asleep in the middle of a fight? Um, since you guys are there, uh, our dear friend is going to take the disengage mm -hmm. and is going to run mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and gets all the way to here and you hear him shouting, guys, guys, there's something weird going on with the last shift. They're back and they're being weird. <laughs> they're being weird. That's, that's one way to put it. That's his turn. <coughs> uh, Huey. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, those drugs are really kicking out. <laughs> uh, Imposter! <coughs> <laughs> hey, you know that dumb phone game you keep trying to make me play? It's happening in real life! <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Oh, good lord. Sorry, what room is that that he's ran into? The he safe. ran. He ran. Okay. He went through the. Yeah. Right, kind of the lobby. This gold potion, and he's going up to the lobby here. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good idea. That's yeah, we're going to use idea. boosted seal on that door, I think. Which door? The no. one into the safe room. Mm, no, yeah. no, no. That's Wait. the one between safes and through. the lobby? No, because we can't, then we're stuck. <laughs> no, then we run to the door to the right. Which is oh, the yeah, one yeah. 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 So into the lobby. T5. Into the T5. lobby. The one they that can't he's in front of him. Yeah. So, yeah. So, in order to get any yeah. further that way, you have to get into the room. Yeah, that's me. I'm going to dash in there shape. first. Hmm? Let's see you do stone shape. I can get Oh, not dash in I'm going to save that. I don't have to. I'm going to run in there. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Let me. So, he's here. You can get it, like, here. Okay. I'm going to. Toss that little marble by the door that he's at. Yeah, so he is now standing at the open door and he's yelling into the lobby to these other mm -hmm. two guards, right? So you're gonna throw it like at his feet into the doorway he's in? Yeah. Cool. And uh, I'm gonna give him another uh, broadsided wallop with the axe. Uh, can I either see the card or can you read oh, the card? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, um, go ahead and read it. With my bonus action, I break this marble to create a one inch thick magical barrier, no more than 15 by 15 feet. Used on to seal a door, tunnel, or enclosure, and I, or an item. Well, let's not worry about the items. Bear has an AC of 16 and HP of 35. Okay. I'm gonna make a note of that for myself, for my guys. Cool. Um, and actually, you know what? I'm not cool. going to so, uh, yeah. use my ax. I'm going to use Vicious Mockery. Okay. So uh, I, I was like, it's like, you're the, you know, you're the worst guard ever. You can't even tell who, you, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, you know what? You're doing all your guards at a service. We're just trying to do the right thing. You suck. <laughs> what did you just throw in the doorway, dude? You threw it. <laughs> I, I definitively <laughs> did not. Yes. Stop yes. self-reporting. <laughs> so, I can't self-report if I didn't do anything. You remember? What's the save I have to make? 14 wisdom. Uh, he fails. Yes! You're the imposter! So, he takes 2d4 psychic damage, and he has disadvantage on his next attack roll. Cool. All right. Eh, five. Okay. All right, uh, that was Huey's turn, uh, which brings us to Stuart with Sloan on deck. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh... Yeah, I'll just go up there and shoot him with a bow. Oh, God. <laughs> Lethally. <laughs> <laughs> Aim for the knee. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh, no, it's only a 15. Will you shoot him? And we know that does not hit. Uh, we know if oh, you have bardic hit. inspiration, though. We know 15 I think we know 15 doesn't hit. Um, I don't remember. I knew 14. 14 missed. was I don't remember. I don't 15. think we did 15. All right, 15. Does not hit. Okay. I really appreciate the incremental, yeah, yeah. you know, 13, figuring 14, it out. 15. 15? We had a 12. Okay. Uh, anything else? 
Stuart. Uh, bonus actions. Let me see if I have any bonus actions. Uh, while you look that up, I'll just quickly say this room has four short bookshelves, each bearing eight glass vials of liquid and several open barrels hold rolled up sheets of parchment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just so you know. It's a bunch of shelves of glass bottles and stuff. I remember everything in yeah. every room. Yeah, I guess I guess that's actually the one you I ran will, uh, through and the one you're I have one more movement. I'll step out of the doorway. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, into into the, the room. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Not exactly. blocking the door. I understand. Um, sorry, I lied. Okay, so this is the room with the shelves and the and the glass bottles mm-hmm. and the barrels, and okay. the ones that you guys are currently in has two large iron safes. That's literally all it says in the flavor text. Mm-hmm. Just two big safes. Cool. Cool. Great. Uh, Sloan, that is your turn with Gemma on deck. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. This is going great. <laughs> so um, good. Go ahead. This is. Man, this we should have bribed him. Uh, can you give me a perception check? Mm-hmm. Well, I think we're just fighting everyone now. Yay! <laughs> Dungeon crawl. Yeah. Um, Twelve. You do know there's a limited number of people in this building. Don't just come to us. My perception check was twelve. Was twelve? Um, you hear a lot more like rustling and chair scraping and stuff starting to happen in the break. So there's probably more. more. Mhm, 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 mhm. Is there a lock on this door? Not on this side. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> we have to we have to lock the gems in. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Are, how many hinges are on this door? <laughs> 14. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, it's going great. God. We're doing good. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and for some reason they're on three sides. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a normal door, but there is no lock on this side. <laughs> Can I get up to how many feet of movement is that? I have thirty five. And then Oh, sorry. Oh, where are you trying to go? Uh, I wanna get like can I get in the corner? The Huey's corner? Um, you can pass through Gemma's face, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, you can get- Beans and rice! You can get to anything on this room. Yep, I'll, nope, because <laughs> they're gonna come maybe through that door. Oh god, I don't want to leave you guys alone. Well, we do have the seal there, though. <laughs> well, the no, we have the seal they, for the lobby. But uh, they could come through the door right in front of me, so I was Ooh, thinking about just staying I, there. Yeah. If we can all get into the next room, I could cast Darkness. Behind us, in here, maybe, or but like not, on, or on on one of the rooms, so we can. Okay, down. okay. It's helpful. I can see in magical darkness. <laughs> uh, very good. I will look at Gemma. <laughs> do what? Do we? Ju- I mean, they're gonna come in here. I like, mm-hmm. Do you want me to just? How many are in there? I don't know. More than one. Uh, I can open the door. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo. All right, I'm. <laughs> oh my god, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna open the door. You open the door. And I'm gonna go. Oh my god, he's going crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help! Uh. With a quick glance, uh, you see uh, two guys who are in the middle of fumbling to like get their coveralls, which has also their armor, like back up. They had it kind of like peeled down to the waist. Uh, they were clearly like playing cards and having a drink. They were like on break, and now they are quickly scrambling because they have heard all of this commotion going on. Um, there's only two guys in here. Um, go ahead and give me a deception check. Uh, before I opened the door. I'm gonna uh, take my dagger and just cut myself on the cheek a little bit. And sure. I'm, I don't know if I can do this. Hold on. Because it might be a reaction and I might be lying. So hold on. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Because it has to be, when you or another creature you can see within 30 feet of you makes an ability check or saving throw, you can use your reaction to add plus three to the roll. So I can do this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut myself on the face before I open the door and kind of like smear the blood on my face and then open the door and, and say, oh my God, help us, he's going crazy. Okay. 
God freaking <laughs> goodness. You have a coin. I do. 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's pretty good. F 15, I'm gonna use a duck. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm like, you're <coughs> for sure gonna use it? I'm for sure okay. gonna use it. Oh, I'm sorry, that was falling oh, back. Oh, 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 he was, he was gone. <laughs> Huey. Okay. What I'm, is that, a D? Six. Four? D6. D6. What did I say I was before? 8, 19, 11, 15. 12, 13, 15. 15. Okay, 20. dirty 20. Cool. I was like, sorry, like, I delightfully, um, props to this module, there is actually, like, a fully churned out, like, the checks to make to, like, bluff or deceive or, or whatever, and, oh. like, what the guards, what actions the guards take if you pass or fail. It's delightful. It's very helpful. Um, yeah, you, like, look in there, you, like, crazy eyes, a little bit of blood, whatever, and, and they just go, like, dude, who? Um, do not break, like, break side, they're, like, grabbing weapons, whatever, they, and they start heading your way, like, where? Who? He's in the safe room! Yeah, okay, uh, 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 great. Nope. Uh, and they start heading this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let me that's pull fine. them into initiative really quick. Okay, cool. That's totally fine. The best possible result. This is cool. exactly what we wanted. <laughs> that's what we wanted. <laughs> cool. Um, um, they, uh, I am putting their card in, but they will not actually move until the okay. next round, but they are here in initiative. I got them. Um, cool. Great. Uh, good times. Uh, I think that's Jeff, unless you want oh, to do some wait. movement. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Yeah. I'm gonna go up to where Huey is. Oh, yeah, the God. safe room. Now you're gonna run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. gonna put you there so yeah. that you're, or do you wanna go no, that's the other fine. side? That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, right there. Oh, that's not, fine. Not block the door. Great. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, s the guard that you know is slow and runs in with blood on their cheek, looking a little bit panicked. <laughs> Gemma, it's your turn. <laughs> this was not what I thought was going to get you guys. I'm not going to lie. Are you okay, Gemma? You just panicked. <laughs> First guard. <laughs> How do you feel about walking through walls? That might be. <laughs> Since... They're on the side of he's going crazy. Did, did those two hear my comment about him doing a self-report, as it were? They heard yelling <laughs> in the other room. All I need to know. I mean, they didn't. They they were not listening to exact words. They just they heard somebody shout. They heard somebody else shout, and then somebody with blood on their face was like, "He's going crazy." <laughs> he's going so. crazy. It's more concerning is the fact that no one questioned when you're like, one of our fellows is going, going crazy, and they're like, oh, okay. Uh, like, this is something uh, that happens. This crap again. Um, cool. Uh, Gemma, it is your turn. I know. No, that's fine. I just, in case I hadn't declared it. I'm just like, I really want to just walk through a wall. Do it. I don't know what's in that room. Which I do. Seven. You I know do you it. do. Which, what does it say on our map? Well, I know it's armor and weapons, but I don't know if there's a person in that room. Would you oh. like to roll a perception check to see if yes. you can tell? A perception? Perception? A perception. Uh, not great. Six. Six. Um, hard to tell. There's a lot of yelling coming yeah. from up here. <laughs> um... I feel like we have to do that thing in like Assassin's Creed where you like hide in a group of people and then like guards stop chasing you because they forget <laughs> yes. about you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, th I will say this is going to com the fact that you are all disguised as their co-workers is going to complicate the situation as far as what they choose to do. We should have learned these guys' names. <laughs> I learned mine. Can I? I was gonna say I will I will hand wave until <sighs> you guys have figured out the names of the yes cards, please uh, that from your be. things. I am not gonna give them to you. Make something up and I'm I just love gonna it. yes and it. But yeah, I kind of want to just like dash into the art room. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, I'm I'm I was dash. trying to get. I'm there. gonna dash into the art room. So okay. you're okay. Yeah. You're trying to get in here. Yeah. Okay. So so I'll I'll. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, 45. 45. <laughs> 45. Where do you want to go? Oh no! Does it look like a rune on the floor? 
<laughs> if you are dashing, you do not have time to Yeah, take. I know. Um, um, was there anyone in there? I mean, I kind of want to like get, just get inside the door and around the corner. So yeah. you over here? Yeah. Great. <clears throat> so you dash. You're going to end up here. Let me read you some text. Um, this is the gallery. Landscape paintings cover the walls of this room. In the center of the floor stand two marble statues of a human man and woman, both holding musical instruments. One statue faces the door to the south, and the other hmm. faces the door to the west. Um, and as you uh, come running in, I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Can I just be running through the whole building, just going quixotic, quixotic, quixotic? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can if you want. Oh. Um, seven. Seven. <laughs> cool. Um, you are as as this door opens. Um, you are hit square in the chest with fire erupting from the statue. You take twenty two damage. Oh my god! As you quickly dip to the side. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make the guy behind you make a dex save to see um, <laughs> if he fails, he will take half of the fire damage as you duck out of the way and it like comes through the doorway at him. Because um, I, yeah, he absolutely passes. He sees you opening the door, goes, shit! <laughs> like, you go in there. this way. Because the other door's blocked. Um, throws himself back. Um, I would like to just like uh, fly for 10 minutes and then hover so I'm not touching anything anymore. Cool. Great. <laughs> I'm just going to make a little I'm just going to make note of that I don't have an actual flight stand. No, I'm not. I'm like, I'm like I'm okay. like this far off yeah, the ground. You're like just like, off any pressure yeah. plates. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good choice. Cool. Um but yeah, you see there are these two statues. They're holding uh musical instruments. One of them is like a, you know, a horned instrument that the fire erupts out of and the other one is a like a like a lute that looks like it'll like shred. Oh my god, Huey's going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> um cool. <laughs> Anything else on your turn? No. Cool. These guys don't get to act until the next round, so it's Verity. Um I am going to <laughs> run up. I'll run up and to join everyone else in that room. Uh just put me next to Stewart, I guess. 30. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Get into this very crowded safe room. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> it's not so safe anymore. Um, let's. I feel like we gotta take this guy out, it's just so we can do anything. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do another Eldritch Blast. Oof. Uh, it's only a 14. Mm, uh, do, I need, do we have a bit? No, I don't think we, we do have one more. I think. No, oh, I know you're right. We use both. But we do have one. Do we want to use it? Oh, just <coughs> like what is it? A d6? Yeah. 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 That's a six. Uh, yeah. So it's a dirty 20. Dirty 20 will hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you know, 25 and 20 hits. <laughs> That's 20. only two force damage. <laughs> oh, hooray. That's right. I got a 10 on my last one. It bounces out. <laughs> <laughs> Averages. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. It's his turn. So he is... uh, for I'm sorry, okay, we're not no. here. Like for casting two spells, if one's a cantrip, I can do a. You level... can do a spell and a cantrip. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a healing word to Gemma because I heard. You scream. can't see. You can't right? see. Oh, her. never mind. You'd have to go up to the doorway, okay. which you don't I have will... the movement for. Maybe later then. So that's it yeah. then. Cool. Uh, cool. It's this guy's turn. He uh, is looking actively panicked. Um, you can hear shouting coming from the other side of the, um, actually I should roll them into initiative too. They are definitely, ah, wonderful. Okay. Um, cool. You can hear shouting coming from here. You can hear movement coming in here. He's like freaking out. He is going to turn to, uh, Huey, look at him and be like, I always knew we couldn't trust you. Uh, and he is going to like pop down the zipper of his uh, of his coveralls. Whoa, <laughs> that's not appropriate for workplace behavior. <laughs> and you see something I'd that like looks, the like, for sexual looks harassment. like a little amulet. He doesn't even show anything. There's nothing to show. <laughs> what you do see is a little amulet that starts glowing, and he slaps it, and you immediately hear it rear, 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 as the alarms go off. And he just looks at you dead in the like deadpan in the eyes, unblinking. <laughs> Um, that's his bonus action, uh, is to activate the alarms. So anybody else who didn't already know that there was something going on knows now. Um, uh, and then what does he get to do for his action? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, okay. He's he's gonna yeah, yeah and then he's gonna uh, to make two long sword attacks on you. Okay. Well, thankfully the first one. Oh, is that disadvantage? Silver barbs. No, because the vicious mockery. Oh, because the vicious mockery. You're right. Okay. Ooh. Uh, first one's gonna whiff. <laughs> Second one is. What is your what is your ad? Um, second one is going to hit. That is seven damage. Uh, now I'm going to use silvery barbs. Okay. <clears throat> Still hits. Son of a. Who's getting advantage from? Yeah. Silvery bars. Um, that should be someone I can see. I guess I can technically see everybody. Uh, you can see everyone but Gemma. Oh. She's around the corner. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to give it to Sloan. Cool. And. Hmm. As I write up. Cool. <laughs> um. Ooh. Now I'm not happy. But I must hold in the rage or else I think I'm the one going crazy. A quick question, is the barrier opaque or transparent? I believe the barrier is I think like, it says translucent. 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 So you can see shapes, but not. Ah, very nice. It's like a shower door. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> we like this. Cool. There's probably a point you can see behind behind it. <laughs> oh. If you needed to see a point. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, you said I took seven damage? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that temporary hit points. This is so bad, y'all. Oh. It's bad. All right. Really um, bad. That was his oh, turn. Um, top of the order, those guys rolled really high. Um, you see and hear uh, swinging of weapons against the barrier and you hear the like chink 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 uh somebody is landing some very solid hits and you see the structural integrity like that little bit of like the spider webbing mm -hmm. uh starting to happen on your seal mm -hmm. um they're not through yet but they one of them crit so they did do a sizable amount of damage in their total uh, Go. uh hits that they were able to land um so that is the lobby guards which brings us back around to Huey. The alarms are going, um, and I will tell you that the way this works is that once the alarms are sounded, there is a certain number of rounds before a certain number more guards join. Mm -hmm. So these three, this guy and these two groups are already in after a certain number of rounds. Mm -hmm. The guys from outside and or anybody else who's patrolling in other areas is gonna get in. Um, I'm going to take my axe and swing right at the amulet on his chest. Cool. Just do a, another blunt-sided Yeah, it's a good call. Oh, oh wait! I use silvery barbs for you, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, um... That is a natural one. <laughs> um, you swing at him and he matrix leans fully out of the way uh, and you just kind of spin in a circle. Um, I it's like, sometimes I make natural ones like really punitive, but I feel bad for you guys. So I'm not gonna do, <laughs> and, I, and I don't think I've been doing that mostly in this game. Um, <laughs> and by punitive, I mean funny punitive, not like terrible. Like, um, so I'm just gonna make you make an embarrassing move. You spin in a circle, um, doesn't do anything. Good, I was worried that I was gonna swing yeah. the door open towards Gemma or something. No, you guys are away from the door. The door <laughs> right here. Um, um, all right, that's the case. I'm gonna use my bonus action to give Bardic Inspiration to I already have it. Verite. Thank you. What is that? Uh, so basically, you'll be no, able to- no, what die? What die? Oh, 1d8. Okay. Yeah. He's also a bard. He knows how the bard yeah. inspiration works. Um, There's no yeah. levels, yeah. That one is on me. And then I just start shouting again. It's like, before I stow the axe away, it's like, oh no, he's, stole, he's trying to steal gems and blame it on us. <laughs> Right. How dare you shame I, Balladeer, the be 
the goodest of guards. He's just a little. What the hell is wrong with you? First of all, you're not Valadir. Second of all, that's not how he talks. Third of all, what? How did you even get in here? Um, uh, Stuart, that's your turn. With Sloan on deck. <laughs> 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 yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> I'm going to... So I know we can't teleport in, but can we teleport out? <laughs> um, you could teleport to another part of the building, interior of the building that you have seen. You cannot right. get out. The perimeter is the ward breaker, basically. So like inside the building, magic works. Outside the building, magic works. Crossing between the two, cannot cannot use transportation spells. All right. Um, um, uh, okay. Duke Fleek has graciously uh, bequeathed you another two <laughs> coins. Thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> as, as I think the only person who is watching oh, this live tonight no. uh, to try to save you. Text your friends. Uh, <laughs> All right, I am going to move out of this room towards this, the secret door. Okay. All the way? Use your whole yep. movement? Open it up. Yep. Bonus action dash. Okay. I'm, I'm running around the to the to the to rope the... ladder. Okay. Ooh. Do you want to go the long way around or the short way around? That's the long way, way okay. around. Cool. And then I will bonus action or cunning action. Yeah. Dash again. Dash again. Yep. And I do say, that's it, everyone, it's impossible, bye! <laughs> Stole it! Um, You're on your own! Please, please roll me a luck check to see where the outdoor patrolman oh, no. is. That's a four. Oh no! <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I'm just gonna be like, oh my god! Just like... Uh, just gonna recycle. I, yeah, just pretend that I am just... Uh, absolutely in panic mode, bumbling, not able to do anything, and just. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to make quick notes of which guys are which group. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're not necessarily all gonna fight against you, only the ones that have figured out whose side they're supposed to be on. <laughs> Oh, God. Just remember, kids, sometimes <laughs> staff first ask questions later is the correct answer. <laughs> um. Should have thrown him in that crap. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is like, I can be rich right now. Let's dip him on fire. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Okay. Um, he died. Uh, How did he die? He died playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> he drowned. Uh, <laughs> Sloan, that is game? your turn. Do <coughs> it. What? As you see, Stuart what? just what are you? just fully. Oh dead. God. Full on run. We okay. Just to confirm, we know the word that we have to say to get over the the trepidy trap. The rune trap password is quixotic. I don't know where the rune trap is. <laughs> Correct. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know that there is a trap for which the password is quixotic. <laughs> Whether okay. it's this trap or something else, to be determined. Oh my goodness. Good. Just get nice. shot quixotic. Uh, I'm just gonna attack him with the pommel of my daggers. Oh my god. You have advantage? Uh, no, but I can attack twice. No, I think you have advantage. Yeah, you have advantage. advantage. Oh, 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 oh. Do you have to use it? Or? Yes. Um, it will be good for the next round. Dirty 20. That will hit. Uh, 21. Will also hit. Okay. Look at all this damage I'm going to do, guys. <laughs> 1d4. I'm doing math. Uh, that's great. Uh, four, five, six, seven points of damage. Okay. To the noggin. He's bam, not bam. looking great. Oh my god, Greg! Greg is attacking us! 
That's his name. His name is Greg. Yes, his name is Greg. Okay. No, I, I, again, we are, I, we are saying that you guys have figured out the girl's name, so I'm just going to yes and <laughs> anything you do with names. Cool. Because uh, it makes my life easier. Yep. Uh, anything else from Sloan? Um... I don't think I can do anything else. In that case, it is Gemma's turn. I'm just gonna lean back over, flagging. Yes. Lean back to Huey, be like, floor traps, <coughs> and then disappear back into That's the other room. Amazing. I just need them to know that yeah. they're there, and then I'm going to turn invisible. Great. And then I'm gonna go post up next to the door in case somebody else comes in. Cool, give me a perception check. Great. Mm, 15. 15. Cool. Roll me a d4. One. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a dude in that room yeah. who is Great. heading your way. Uh, oh. Because of yeah, the, the klaxons blaring in the yeah. entire building. Yeah. Um. Um, can I be one, either either one further that way or one on the other side of the, yeah. Yeah. I just don't want to be in the trajectory. No, that's totally fine. Great. Yeah, just say, uh, you, you have enough movement uh, to maneuver that. Yes. Okay. Cool. Great. Um. Cool. Our uh, guys from the break room come in here, uh, see their buddies bashing at a sealed door, which is weird to them. So they also take some swings. Uh, the first guy whiffs twice, but the second guy hits and then crits, and the seal shatters, opening the door. <coughs> oh my God! Thank God. Um, Greg looks at them and is like, I don't know who they are, but they're, they're, they're either on drugs or they're, something's going on here. Um, um, look at them. Uh, they are, let's see how intelligent these guys are, especially cause they're going to look and see that they're, Greg has been absolutely wrecked and almost no one else has been touched. Um, obviously he's the intruder. He's the one that we're attacking yeah. as the guards. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> um, uh, they look, um, and, uh, one of these guys, uh, kind of, uh, steps, steps into the doorway and, and just goes, all right, everybody needs to put their weapons down right now while we figure out what the hell is going on. I put Clink. my weapons down. <laughs> yeah. Or clonk. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that? I don't know, I found it from some music. I've found it from some musician. He said he wanted me to practice. When? You yep. had two daggers and two swords when you left here. Yeah, I went to the bar where some this one rich guy kept playing coppers or some stupid game like that. Uh, he uh, raises his sword and posts up in an attack. Uh, takes two, uh, does not take two swings because he uses attacks to get through the door. But he is posted up looking like he is not on your side. Um, he is going to take a step this way, though, so that he's not blocking his friends. What are their mm -hmm. weapons? Okay, yeah, no, that's about right. Cool. Um, great, that's the break room, guys. Verity, it's your turn. Great. Uh, the situation <laughs> has situation. It, yeah, it certainly has. <laughs> um, I, I kind of wanted like just cast some darkness and then like hide. <laughs> But Look, Stuart just straight up bailed. You can do whatever <laughs> you want. <laughs> this is a free for all. This is the closest to actual danger we've come since the gnome village. <laughs> the one assassin lady would beg to differ. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess she did get some good swings in on you guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna use my infernal legacy to cast darkness on the doorway. Which is a 15 okay. foot sphere. Cool. Um, so, does that. Un so, if you're casting like right on mm -hmm. the doorway, you're basically going to engulf. Are the. Are, all this. are we all in dark? That's gonna. It's gonna catch Huey. It's gonna catch Huey and Sloan. If, it, if the target point is the door, it'll catch Huey and Sloan, but you will be outside. I will kind of. I will like kind of grab you as I cast it. Mm -hmm. And then I. Can I use five feet of movement to go up to where I know Huey was? And kind of like pull him back towards, sure. yeah. towards me to get the three of us. Yeah, out. I will. Yeah, I will say that you can kind of like put a hand on Sloan, clock where Huey is, cast it, and then like step forward to to grab for Huey. Yeah, can I pull him back? Like, can I use that my action? Or I guess that my action was to cast darkness. So. Um, I will. I if 
Uh, I will let you like burn like a bonus action okay. to, to pull him back. Uh, do you resist when you feel somebody when it, suddenly everything goes dark? You can't see anything, and you feel a hand on the back. Considering it's all back. behind me, I think I know the okay. like I can clock where my buddies Great. are and where the not so buddies are. Yeah. So you can pull them back. So yeah. you guys are now just at the edge still, of the darkness. Uh, are we still in darkness or no? We you are, guys are now out of darkness. Okay. All, all of these guys are. Um, you and cannot I, see your axe. Yeah, your your <laughs> axe is on the ground in the dark. <laughs> and oh, probably no. your daggers if you actually drop them. So. Oh, you have returning. Oh, no. You're not worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you were so quick to drop your. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Just summon them back. Um, uh. no, let's see, I still have my, yes, I still have my movement. Yeah, you do still um, have I'm gonna start going towards the, the secret door, I think. Okay. So we at least maybe re, recoup. I kind of like the idea of going back outside and just going up the ladder. <laughs> Gemma just in there by herself. I'll go through the whole place. <laughs> I know you will. Gemma's fine. So was message, is that a bonus act? Um, I think uh, it's, it's an action. It's an action. Okay. It's an action yeah. um, cool. You uh, pop them out of the darkness and then head out to the secret door, which is standing wide <laughs> open from Stuart having it. <laughs> Probably for the better, since I don't know if uh, I think only Stuart and Sloane <clears throat> saw how to open it. So, mm -hmm. cool. Um, that is Verity. Uh, our uh, Greg is uh, gonna fumble around in the dark. Uh, our Guy over here sees you and is just like, "What's what's going on? Why are the alarms going off? What happened? Why are you even here? Weren't you off shift?" The alarms were going off. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's a good excuse. Yeah. Okay. Do you, but do you know what's happening? There's no. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, we should probably head around to the front then. Yeah. And he will <laughs> After turn, you. and it's gonna be a standing room. This is so bad. This is horrible. <laughs> this is bad. He's, he's, it's kind of amazing, been, though. Sit back around to the front. I don't know why Priscilla ever trusts us. <laughs> it's not important anything. enough for him to dash, though. <laughs> uh, no, so because if he runs here. into a bad guy, he needs to be able to swing uh, with yeah. a held action, sir. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. You question or. me like I don't have a whole flow chart of what these guys are doing. <laughs> um, uh, at the end of this round, or should I say at the top of the next round, something happens, which we are going to find out after we return from a brief <laughs> break. As you all are scattered, injured, very panicked, definitely in trouble, and well, most uh, of us are fine. <laughs> none of you are close enough injured. to hear the little sound that occurs. Something new happens. But we hope we'll st you'll stick around. We will be back as soon as we can, so we can see if our team can get out of this mess. See you in a minute.
Uh, welcome back, friends and foes, fays and fiends, to Keys from the Golden Vault. Uh, we are in the middle of one of the absolute worst battles that uh, has happened in a while, definitely on this show, <laughs> as our party is scattered. Uh, they are trying to infiltrate a warehouse full of all kinds of treasure that is owned by a very famous international thief. Um, and so far that infiltration is going poorly. Um, they have been, they are currently disguised as guards, engaged with other guards who are very confused about what's going on, but know something is wrong. Alarms are blaring. The party has split. Um, let's jump back in at the top of the round. Um, at the top of the round, something happens. Um, there is a little sound. Uh, none of you are in a position to know what it is or hear it, weirdly enough. Um, so that's just a thing that happens. And I'm just gonna put a little placeholder over, uh, we're gonna put it for the top of the round. Um, the not, oh. not because it was their initiative, but because... The cage holding the displacer beast open. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> I swear. Funny you should mention! Um, anyway, so there is a placeholder here of a thing that is happening that nobody's in a position to observe, uh, bringing us to our lobby boys. Um, our first unit of guards, um, who are in darkness. Uh, we're gonna let them fumble around and try to, um, get themselves out. It'd be so out. funny if they, like, offed Craig. Craig. <laughs> they were trying to get, um, get the ones that... They're not really swinging, is the thing. Yeah. They're just trying to, like, figure out why they can't see and fumble around. Um, and the dude, I'm gonna say that the dude who got the, um, 21 perception is able to sort of like fumble his way over to to this room. Um, he oh no, <laughs> he knows that this is trapped, and he is able to not activate the trap. Um, but he kind of staggers in here and ends up over here. You are invisible currently, mm -hmm. right? So you see one dude kind of stumble in here, um, managing to uh, avoid the trap. Let me double check really quick what the actual. I know that they have the ability to not trigger the trap. I just have to remember if it's a specific. Um... Okay. Um, yeah, he knows. He knows how to disable the trap. You do not see what it is that he does, but he he either gets over it or disables it. It's in the like extent <coughs> of the darkness. Um, and he kind of staggers in here and is like kind of like looking around, trying to like catch his breath. Um, and you see him. Uh, do a hand up to the ear like he's getting a message or something Great. Um, from somewhere. Uh, cool. That's the lobby guards. That is going to bring us to Huey. What you want to do, uh. my friend? <laughs> you see the big blob of darkness. You see Sloan. Um, uh, Verity pulled you back out of the darkness and split. Your weapon is in the dark. Um, ooh. Probably or at least grabbing. your main weapon is in the dark. It's probably just right there. Here. So, <laughs> it's like, you can't see it, but you know that it would be where you were just standing. I'm probably going to do something incredibly stupid. We love it. Welcome to the club. Uh, so, <laughs> first thing I do, enhance ability uh -huh. on myself. I just do a little, okay. <laughs> like inside my head. And do a little pain. Ah! <laughs> Which ability are you enhancing? I'm using Eagle Splendor to have advantage on my charisma checks. Okie dokie. And, oh! Greg! It's like, oh, Greg, how could you? I, I can't trust anybody here! Okay. And I stumble around, it's like, like, looking around for the axe. You're the one who dropped the axe outside, aren't you, you imposter? Okay, and you're going back into the darkness to try to get it? Yes. Okay. Um, I need you. Are you? You're right, Grant. Are, are, are you trying to deceive? Are you trying to persuade? I am. Or are you just running your mouth? I am trying to deceive. Great. I'm going to need a deception check for that, um, which you will roll against these guys' insight. Um, and then I will also need a person. We have, wait, we have the... Give me a coin, please. <laughs> Is it going to help? Is well, it going a... to... I can only help hope. Huh? Sorry. Oh, you're fine. In front of the dragon. 
Yeah. Oh. It's all to do. Oh, the curse has finally come back. How I didn't really miss you. Thankfully, that was not in the thing. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's 12, 14. That is in 18. Okay. Uh, cool. And then I'm also going to need a uh, perception check with <laughs> triple disadvantage, with the most disadvantage. Uh, with just, yeah, tr perception at disadvantage to find your weapon. Damn it. <laughs> oh, fucking. Mm -hmm. mm. If there is a god. He's not he smiling very, at you today. He is very, very cruel. What did you get? I got a five. Cool, you cannot find your weapon. Mm. Uh, and you can't see anybody, so you don't like really know how they've reacted or not to uh, what you're yelling, other than you hear Greg being like, fuck you, dude. I, uh, I, I shout out again, just, Sarumpelbot, help me find, help me find this, this heathen's weapon. Where did you even get it from? Are you just like stealing off of people at bars now? What's wrong with you, dude? Um, uh, great, anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Anything else that you can do on your turn? I'm sure there's many things you'd like to do. Um. I suppose I technically, well, no, you already have Bardic Inspiration. Um, no, I can't do jack diddly right now. Cool. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, you do have um, like 25 feet of your movement left if you wanna get out of there, but you will have to leave your weapon. Oh, I'll get out. Okay. I'll have to use my other great axe instead, the non-magical one. Um, do you wanna take your full movement, head after Verity? Or do you just wanna step back? I'm going to, is there some, mm. yeah, I'm going to hide around the corner. Sorry, uh, out the other room. Out here? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, Stuart, that is you with Sloan on deck. All right, I will go back 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Holy crap, I see this guy right in front of me. Yep, he's uh, he's still there. He's got his sword drawn. Uh, he is keeping an eye out for whatever's happening. Um. Sorry, I rolled this earlier and I failed it. So, before, yeah, I'm going to cunning action dash. Okay. Take two steps back, cast invisibility. Got it. Yep, pop around, see a guy, nope right out of there. Cool. We need to find the, the um, condition rings. They're around somewhere. They're right over there. Oh. That's all right. Didn't even see them. I'll remember next time. Uh, we need them. We can just go digging through everything mm -hmm. right now. No, I'm that's sure. fine. We'll keep going. Uh, Sloan, that's your turn with Gemma. Okay, so in my hand, I'm uh, holding a, uh, looks like a pebble, and it's a magical recording device disguised as a pebble. And while Huey was talking, I recorded him speaking. <laughs> and I am going to yeet that pebble through the magical darkness and try, I know I can't see, but I'm going to, in my mind's eye, because I have keen mind and can yes. remember things. Yes, yes, no. <laughs> um, try to yeet it through the door. Okay, you're trying to get it like over yeah. here to, to make it sound like he's <laughs> in the middle of all of them. Yes, Clever. so it recorded uh, the whole thing that Huey just said about the ax and all of that. Cool. Yeet, and like, now it is playing on a loop and I'm, Tossing it. Um, cool. I am going to have you uh, roll with disadvantage still because you're rolling into the darkness. However, that so. is a very clever idea, and so I am going to award you a card as DM inspiration. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's a very clever idea. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna do a bad job of uh, throwing it to you, but bonus time. I have no bonus action. <laughs> Play this card to gain one extra bonus action. You may cast an additional level spell with a casting time of one bonus action. So you can share it with a friend Anybody who does have bonus who wants that. That's for the that. table. 
Um, but yeah, that is a very cool idea. Uh, uh okay. Uh, you do have the bardic die too, right? No. No, you gave it to me. Yeah, right, I gave you silvery eight. barbs. Yeah, um, which has been used. Sorry, what was I rolling? You are, uh, um... <laughs> sorry, I guess I didn't actually declare what you're rolling. Um, let's... Let's call it an attack roll. Sure. Uh, like ranged weapon attack. Or it's it's just to kind of see, or like using your either your strength or your dex. It's just to see how well you can aim it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use my dex. Uh, that is. Plus proficiency. Or? Plus, yeah, I was gonna say plus proficiency or no proficiency. Uh, with proficiency. A uh, thirteen. I was gonna say because you do have the keen mind, and that's taken the edge off a little bit. Okay. Cool. But also everything's been very rapid and frazzled. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. Uh, cool. Thirteen. Okay. Um, again, you can't really see, but you like you don't hear it suddenly whiff off into somewhere where you're not hearing it or something terrible like that. So okay. like it's in there. Okay. You just hear Huey yelling. Okay. <laughs> uh, awesome. From inside the darkness. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, I really don't like leaving Gemma in there by herself. Uh, to be fair, Gemma has the most possible deus ex machina to get herself out of this situation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. she only has three numbers in her stone, but all three of them can help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I guess I'm just gonna... Okay, maybe four. Oh, I thought that was the third one. Oh, I was, was thinking Priscilla. Oh, yeah. If, I think you have a business card for Priscilla. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> I will leave. <laughs> I have 35 feet of movement. Cool. Uh, you can get all the way out the door if you want. I will get out the door and I will wait there until Verity and Huey are gone so that I can close the door. Cool. Yeah. That is my turn. Verity, I'm like, I know you're like currently yeah. on the wall. I'm saying that you're like just outside the door, That's basically. Makes sense. Uh, uh, cool. Uh, da, 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 uh, Gemma. I'm gonna use my action to uh, telepathically message Stuart <laughs> and just be like, so I'm in this room with these statues and these guys are running around and I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for how they're disarming traps and things. I'll probably see you at some point. I hope you're having a good day. Um, <laughs> and then I want to hold my movement to fly through the door when once somebody he pass, it. once he's like passed it, passed it. Oh, did I roll him into initiative? I don't think I did. I'm gonna just let him to go on. Um, I'm gonna let on him Greg. go on Greg's turn Greg. because Greg doesn't have a buddy yet. He's gonna be Greg's buddy. You don't hear it, but Stuart responds with some very important information. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Stuart's like yelling into this like hair well, bracelet. Yeah. Or whisper, I guess whispering. Like, no, yeah, really use the ear. Quietly yeah. whispering this bracelet of hair, not remembering it's only one way. Cool. Um, great. You're, yeah, you are waiting there. As soon as that door opens, you may use your full movement on I it. want to specify once he has cleared the doorway. <laughs> yeah, yes, he'd like. And like done whatever he does to get yes. through the doorway and then fly through. The <laughs> no, you're not going to invisibly <laughs> slam in the doorway, as funny as that would be for me personally. Um, cool. Uh,. Uh, one break room guy, uh, the one who keeps critting, uh, is still smart, um, and is gonna manage to, like, head back this way. Um, he's gonna start heading. Actually, no, he would head outside. He's gonna, he's gonna stumble out of here, and then he's gonna start heading outside and looking for backup, because holy shit, this is bad. Um... They're also not having a good time, to be clear. Um, the other guy is a dingus and can't find his way out of the magical darkness. Um, and that's very true. Uh, cool. I... That's what am I going to do? I think I'm going to start going towards the... F around the building, the opposite direction that... Um, sure. That Stuart went. Okay. And I will bonus action. I'll give a bar bardic inspiration to you, Sloan. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Sloan's got a bardic. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, oh, I still have my action too. I'll dash. Uh, cool. Uh, can you go ahead and roll me a luck check? Uh, yes. 
Eight. Eight. Oh, yay. Two buddies. Oh. Round in the corner. Um, it's the guys from the balcony. What happened? I heard the alarms go off. Shit, we don't know what... Didn't... Didn't you just sign off like half an hour ago? No, like, yeah, I was like on the way to the bar and I could, like heard the alarms going. So I'm shit. Like, yeah, so I'm like, it's, it must be bad, right? Cool. Uh, give me either persuasion or deception. Deception. Check. Yeah. <laughs> That's a 24. Oh yeah, no, they 100% <laughs> buy you. Like, they're like, yeah, dude, uh, okay. Uh, sh um, I mean, I didn't, we didn't see anything from the front, so I'm not sure what's happening. It's gotta be- uh, There's nothing this way, so. Okay, guess we're going back inside. Um, um, oh, would they, yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, the boss looks pissed. Shit. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> <clears throat> so, <laughs> uh, great, that's your turn. Uh, it's Greg's turn. <laughs> Everybody pray for Greg. <laughs> Greg rolled a natural 20. <laughs> Good job, Greg. Yay, Good job. I hate you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you self-reporting dickbag. Um, Gemma, since you are the only person, uh, like, really, really inside, uh, please roll me a D4. This is just, we're just determining mm -hmm. direction. We're gonna say one is north. One. Two. Okay, great. That makes it easy. Um, he is gonna run uh, northward, but he gets enough of his bearings to kind of realize where he is, so... Perfect. He's going to head this way for the door. Um, and then it's our patrol boys. Uh, other guy goes on Greg's turn, too. Other guy goes on Greg's turn. You are correct. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he is going to come running toward the source of the sound. He's heading this way. It's so many people in initiative. You're doing great. Um, uh, yeah, buddy's going here. Uh, you <laughs> watch him open this door. He opens the door and he reaches in before he steps over the threshold mm -hmm. and like fumbles on the wall and finds like like he, like his pinky finger finds like a little like, but, okay. like <laughs> slot and like pops it. Great. Um, and you can see the like panel like depress itself slightly and then he pops in. Great. Okay. So. You're guessing probably there's another one on the other side that's equivalent. Um, you may not take your movement. Yeah, I'm gonna just <coughs> like swoop in and then I'm gonna post up on the opposite side of the door. Yeah. You are here. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Oh, that's a d4. <laughs> Good uh, instinct. But... 21. 21, great. Uh, let me double check if this is a room that is patrolled or not. Um, cool. It's where the displacer base is. Um, you, uh, you can hear from inside, uh, the animals are going nuts. Oh. Like a whole bunch of animals are just losing their minds. Probably because there's a bunch of loud alarms happening. Okay. Um, uh, you don't hear anything that sounds human though. Great. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for them, uh, our outdoor boys. Uh, cool, um, these guys are gonna turn around and head back this way. They're all gonna meet up with this guy and almost Greg, who has not quite made it to the door, but is just about there. Um, and this guy here, is gonna continue around his way. Uh, also heading for the front to meet up with the gang. This is the one, uh, the plus side and the downside of there's only one way in and one way out is that you know where everyone's going, it's the front door. <laughs> um, so, Great, that brings us back around to the top of the order. <laughs> I have to roll some dice. Don't worry about it. It's probably, it's probably fine. Okay, that's fun, that's fun. And then our guys in the lobby are gonna see if they can get out of magical darkness. They are both ding-dongs and cannot <laughs> fit, like- Ding-dong. Like, uh, one they're, trying of, you, find, they're trying to find Greg. Yeah, no, no one's close enough, I think, to uh, hear them like <coughs> sing as they trip over furniture and each other and all kinds of fun things. Um, that's that happening. Uh, Huey. My weapon's still in there, right? Hmm? 
So my weapon's still in there, was just picked up you by Greg. You don't know. You're out of the room. You have no way of being able to tell. Do I run or do I continue to do more stupid things? <laughs> and if I dash, am I able to pick my thing up assuming it's in there? If you can find it in the darkness. You still have to pass a perception check to find it, and it's like slightly more challenging now because you are you have exited and now are having to re-enter and reconfigure yourself. Oy. I mean mechanically you're just still at disadvantage, but for narrative flavor, it's more complicated now. <laughs> decisions, decisions, I hate this! Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> a game about making choices about who, which friend you're gonna piss off the most. Wait, I thought I thought that D and D stood for decisions and decisions. And that's how I play it. <laughs> this is the most dice anyone has ever rolled in a laundry game this in one contiguous amount of time. This is very, very true. <laughs> this is the most amount of bad decisions. <laughs> I had to ask. Is it? The only good I decision. feel like it is. I feel like there was a lot of them. There were a lot. Like, 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 like in Golden Vault or, or like just in general? <laughs> in general. <laughs> just like a couple bad okay. decisions at the beginning that we just have not been able to recover from. Yes. <laughs> it was like one bad decision and like eight really bad die rolls right out the gate, to yep. be fair. You guys did kind of <laughs> get screwed by the fact that no one could pass the AC. Yeah. Um... <sighs> you just got to make a choice, buddy. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Chaos, do it. Go in there. Screw it! I'm going Grab in it. there! Yeah. Okay, great. But I'm gonna, before I do, I'm gonna use Enhance Ability again. Okay. To give my, also, to also give myself... Scroll, you son of a gun. Oh, good lord. Oh, I get it. Owl's Wisdom, so I have advantage on Wisdom checks. Great. Which means that should help actually nullify the disadvantage on it Perception, does hopefully. does not. Because it's a check. Um... Uh, Misunderstood that. That one's a my I don't fault. think. So. Well, okay, hang on. Let me look. Let no, me, you're probably right. No, let me hang on. Let me look at the phrasing of it. Uh, I haven't used enhance. I've never seen enhance ability used for anything other than flirting before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good use. That's a self burn. <laughs> That's a pretty good use of it. Yeah, I was gonna say that that is a reference to all of the uh, potions of charm that used to always get granted to Elspeth. Um... Sorry, I just oh this. oh okay no it's it's a wisdom check not a wisdom save, so I will allow that to null if, I will allow that to null so you can roll it flat. Yay! So I can only only be slightly more disappointed in my roll. <laughs> Oh, hello! Very nice. That is a 21. Cool, you run in, you like fix the point on the wall, and you're like, great, it's gotta be right here, and you like dive down and start fumbling around. There is nothing on this floor. <laughs> and this is where I get to reveal that Greg rolled a natural 20 to pick up mm -hmm. the ax and run out the room. Good job. <laughs> you don't know that, but everybody else gets to now. But... Through the door. Yeah, I'm going to, but before I do, I'm gonna shout out again. Oh, yeah. you also actually hear your own voice shouting uh, insults at Greg about, like, you know, all of the stuff you were saying before. About you don't know where it's coming from other than ahead of you in the darkness. Yes. Because that would be Sloane's, uh, Sloane's pebble. Yeah. Then I just, when there's like a moment of silence, just a moment of silence, it is his axe! <laughs> and then I run in through the door to the right. You have used all your movement. Oh. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm you are correct. And I forgot my enhanced ability was in action, so I can't dash. You just get to stand there in the dark. Can I inspire myself bardically? No, I know I can't. Um, I I'll, mean, given how badly this is going, I might allow it. <laughs> Please. Just, just sing a little song to yourself. Everything's yeah. gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can very quietly hype, hype man yourself. Uh, I will allow you to give yourself bardic inspiration in this specific instance because this is going so south so quickly. <laughs> um, Might just get out of this alive. Stuart. Probably not, but there's All a right. chance. <clears throat> With Sloan on deck. Thank you. I'm moving towards that window. Okay. 5, 10, 15. I think that I can make it to. That's 30. Based on your math. So it's here. So. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, cunning, cunning action dash to get under there. 
And then I will use an action to launch my rope of climbing up into the air. Sick. Uh, how uh, how far is the ten, um, the window is ten feet up? Oh, it goes ten feet. Perfect. Um, uh, Actually, is it an action to activate this please. as a bonus action? So cool. I use my bonus action to dash. That's okay. Well, it's up in the air. I mean, just use your action to dash. You can, yeah. Yeah, well, you could say that your action was the okay, your your action okay. was the dash, action and then your was bonus dash. action is the action. bonus action. Either way, yeah, you've got it activated. Okay. Um, in theory, I've got twenty feet of movement. Yeah, I was going to so. say, and you've got twenty feet of movement. So if you would like to use twenty feet, of, ten yes. feet of that movement to climb up to uh, the window, let me yes. double check what it tells me about the windows, because this is actually one yes. of the better uh, detailed things about this. And climbing does not use more. My climb speed is equal to my regular um, speed. There is a window. It is locked. You are immediately able to identify that you could probably pick the lock using your thieves tools, but you will have to do it on your next turn. Copy. Yeah. So for now, you are hanging out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if I am holding the rope, is it invisible? Yeah. <laughs> it's funnier to say no, but based on the standing rules of invisibility, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, so we can't see that. Well, mostly because oh, I'm yeah. picturing like you, you're kind of like but if it braced is visible, on it, you know, it. you're yeah. holding it. You the record. <laughs> so that's close enough to being like contained yeah. within your aura. Until I have to like wrap it around me and then use both hands to open the window, <laughs> then there'll be a rope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Which then for, we could I was see saying, to like for this figure turn, it out. That, like, for this oh, turn, I'm gonna say it's invisible. Once you start doing monkeying around with other stuff, I'm gonna say yeah. probably there's just like a weird like <coughs> rope <laughs> trick looking piece hanging out. Because uh-huh. uh, that's funny to me. Great. Uh, boy, howdy. Uh, Sloan, that brings us to you with Gemma on deck. Well, I don't see any of that. Nope. Um, <laughs> this is really fun because none of you guys have I any idea what's happening. I just see Huey <laughs> run into the darkness and I'm like, all right, I close the door. <laughs> uh, I cast spider climb on myself. <laughs> and I spider monkey up to that window if cool. I can't get there. My climb speed is, uh. is equal to my normal movement speed, which is 35 feet. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that you can get that's because that's like 20. 25 feet plus 10. I'm gonna say yeah, you can do that. So yeah, you are up at the window. It is locked, much, much like Stuart. It is locked, and you can tell you can attempt a thief's tools check Excellent. on your. I will do that next time. On your next turn. That is my thing <laughs> that only, I can do. If only you and Stuart could see each other, just wave at <laughs> each other and well, hi. <laughs> Good Stuart can now see Sloan. Yes. Yeah, Stuart missile. can see me. Yeah. But, yeah, you can see that Sloan clearly had a similar idea. <laughs> Except that Sloan is like climbing up the side of a building like a vampire while you are on your should, little. Should we do the next? Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, Gemma, did I read you the flavor text for this room? No. Would you like me to? Just for yeah. fun. I love a flavor text. Um, get us here. Three suits of armor stand against the walls with swords in hand, watching over this armory. Three large chests sit against the south wall. That's all or not. <laughs> no, that was it. Okay. I was, no, I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I was double checking what else is happening in this room. Um, give me an arcana check. Nine. Okay. Um, the vibes in this room are not immaculate. I don't love the vibes mm. here. Um, is what I'm going to give you on that <laughs> roll. This is a, I'm I'm letting you make this check because of certain aspects of your background. Great. Um, um, great, I don't want to be here. Um, yeah. I'm going to uh, telepathically message Stuart again <laughs> and just be like, okay, so the room with the fiery statues, there's buttons next to the door, so maybe keep an eye out for things like that on other plates. It looks like they recede the pressure plates. Um, and then I'm gonna just uh, bop into the next room and deal with whatever the hell I'm about to deal with in here. Please be an actual cat. Okay. <laughs> Just a, just a, little, a, just a little house cat. Oh no, it's Hyacinth. It's a flurkin. Hyacinth, <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be solid, yeah. right? Hyacinth, can you go eat some people? Um, 
This room contains five large cages holding unusual creatures. It smells of fur and feathers. Chirps, grunts, and howls fill the air. It's more like screeches because this alarm is really pissing them off. <laughs> um, looking around, I'm not even going to make you make a perception check. Mm -hmm. uh, there is nobody else in this room. There's just these animals. So you've got time to just scan around. Uh, each cage is held shut by a rudimentary latch. Uh, one contains exotic birds. One holds two giant lizards and six flying snakes. Uh, a third contains harmless mammals, including jerboas, chinchillas, and a capybara. And the last two cages each hold one displacer beast. I don't know if you guys <laughs> pulled that out of nowhere. <laughs> or you you said like we had to feed the cat. cat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was just like, oh, they figured it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great. So yeah, two giant lizards, six flying snakes, two displacer beasts, and a bunch of shit you don't need to care about. Um, so there's some uh, displacer beasts in here, Stuart. Uh, it's not great. So I hope you're not about to like climb a window into this room. <laughs> <laughs> into the cage. <laughs> oh, great. And is the is the window into the second story or the first story? First story. There is oh, one. So there I is could, one window to the second it. story, and it is over on this side of the building. Is that the same side that I'm on? Yes. There is one. It is 20 feet up, and it's like right over here somewhere. So I don't if know I, the other map. Like a, like kind of a near I am though. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's basically like right here. Looking at me. Other giant map. So. If you knew that, would you change your? Because you're going into the room that you just... Yeah, I know. I get that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would just take me a while to get over there. But I could come up... Because you're over there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, Gemma, anything else that you want to do in your turn? Um, um, you yeah. do have more movement. You yes. only took one. So then I'm going to continue moving to the yeah, side exactly. of that door. Cool. Do you want to just try the door? Do, you, uh, do your just perception like check first. perceptioning, yeah. yeah. And then I'll get up there. Uh, 20... I can't read. 23. No one's in here. Great. Empty room. Oh, or yeah. em empty of humans. Uh, great. Then I'm going to uh, uh, fly my little self in there. <laughs> You're up next. Um, no, wait. No, I'm next. For now, I'm just putting Not at, touching anything. At, the, at this doorway or whatever. You okay. do have 10 more feet of movement that you can use. Um, yeah, I just, I don't want to ever be in a doorway. Yeah. So if I can just I take cast a, just be a like... metaphorical step. Yeah. Um... This room smells strongly of incense and paper. It has several bookshelves filled with antique books and a large embroidered rug covers the floor. Oh, there's a real bad rug in here, Stuart. Don't come don't come through the rug. <laughs> Afflicted with blindness. <laughs> it's just stream of conscious. Bad rug, bad rug? Bad rug. Bad rug. Um, <laughs> Again, every time I wear the bracelet, at what point do I just take it off? <laughs> Well, you do have the Never. earring too. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, that earring is not an incessant stream of consciousness. That's true. Yeah. Uh, boy, howdy. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, anything else you want to do? Mm -mm. Okay, great. Um, let me roll for my dudes out front. Um, okay, they're doing some things. Uh, Verity. Um. So the window, I know there's a window kind of a, above where I am. Yeah, it's 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 like a little bit behind and above where you are. It is 20 feet up on the wall. That is the only second story window that you guys okay. have been able to clock. I am going to go go to below it, mm -hmm. um, wherever that you just said that is. I think it's right here. Sure. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to pull a patch off of my coat of, uh, what's it called? My robe, robe of useful items, things. and yeah. and it becomes a ladder. <laughs> 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 and then I can <laughs> climb up the ladder. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and look through the window. Yep, okay, and the ladder's 24 feet long, so yep, that works. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, you climb up and you look in the window. We could have um, just done this in the first <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I feel like I, I would have known that. I would have known there was only one window to the second floor. I just love it. Like two and a half hours later, it was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, you look in through the window and you find yourself not directly face to face with, but looking in at an elf woman with beautifully coiffed black hair black, you know, like, power suit, so her, who just kind of, like, very casually, like, turns and looks at you and just sort of, like, 
smiles, gives you a little wave, and it's just like, uh, walks over, <laughs> unlatches the window, <laughs> lifts it, leans on the windowsill that you're like also kind of. <laughs> well, hey there. Hello. Uh, that doesn't seem like it's gonna be the most comfortable. You wanna come in? Uh, yes, I was coming up to check on you. I heard the, the alarms. Hmm, all right. <laughs> yeah, why don't you uh, come on in? I was just thinking maybe I should turn off all the noise. It does get a little bit to the migraine, doesn't it? Oh. This is great. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool, I'm gonna move you off the map for the time being because you are now on the second floor, um, which I cannot put up yet yep. because everybody else mm -hmm. is down here. But just know that you are on the second floor. Um, and I left the ladder there. Standing face to face with a woman who can only be Nixalana uh, Viterant. Uh, Viterant, yes. Um, great. <laughs> cool. That's fun. That made my life easier, honestly. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, Greg's gonna roll. <laughs> Greg suddenly found his purpose in life. Uh, it's that axe. He's, he's going to do don't some stuff. She's just right there. Um, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the other guards who are outside are also going to do some things. Um, oh, this guy's going to keep moving. Um, On your turn, you could go join Stuart at that window. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Cool. And at least the three of you guys are together. Well, I was going to go at that window. <laughs> oh, that window? Yes. Um, Stuff is happening, which I am rolling for. I am not representing it or declaring That's it because fair. no one's there to know, which okay. just FYI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because I uh, am a stickler about that. <coughs> it's more fun for me. That brings us to the top of the round, which is Viteron's turn. Mm. She rolled really high on initiative. Um, Oh, God. Uh, you climb in through the window, mm -hmm. and you are face to face with uh, Scala. Uh, she, uh, you are in a room that looks like it is like personal quarters. This is the room that would be behind the balcony doors. You see that for the, you have not seen anyone use the balcony doors. They are currently open. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, in the section that you are in, there is a fine desk, and there are two beautiful paintings hung on the wall, painted uh, depicting festivals. It looks like some sort of like spring festival and some sort of harvest festival on the other side. Um, and you can see that there is a curtain sectioning, partitioning off um, the uh, southern part of this room um, uh, that's a little bit peaked open, so you can kind of see a bed mm -hmm. in there. It looks like basically this is like an additional living quarters area that she has set up. Um, uh, she walks over to the desk and like reaches like under the lip of the desk and then the alarm stops blaring. Mm. Um, and she kind of looks at you, perches up on the edge of the desk and sits and goes, now, um, I don't think you'll want to mine. So how many more there are you? And should we maybe all just have a conversation? Seems like it might be easier than whatever it is you're all up to right now. I suppose so. Good, good. Uh, you got a way to call them all up or should I just send word um, around to my boys? I can do, I have a way to message them. Great. Uh, <laughs> Y'all wanna meet up here? Should I meet y'all down there somewhere? Um. I don't know exactly how far you've gotten in, and I'm very excited to find out. I think I'll message, I'll message everyone, but I, I'm trying to think of a, is message, what she hear, message is telepathic. Message right? is also a line of sight. I thought it, if you knew where someone. That's yeah. sending, isn't it? Mm-hmm, that's sending. Hold on. Wait a second, <laughs> really? I thought there was a, like if you knew where they were, this like spell can within range. through solid objects if you are familiar with the target yeah. and know it is yeah, beyond the but barrier. But you have to know where they are beyond, beyond the barrier. Roughly. Roughly. I'm for the purposes of this, I'm gonna say that that like you know everybody is <coughs> or you can assume that everybody should be within the convent. You're not sure about Stuart, he just yeeted himself. Everybody yeah. else <laughs> you're presuming is in the area, so I'm gonna say that you're able to get to everybody. Yeah, but can I like tell everyone but then have Gemma not show up so like there's one of oh them. i mean you yeah. like you can message everybody generically and be like 
hey, like, we've got, you know, we've got a, a parlay or whatever. Yeah. And Gemma will hear it and Gemma, like, can. you just have to count on Gemma being smart enough to, like, be like, I'm going to show up, but invisible or something. <laughs> if you say it, yeah. she's, she's going to, like, step back. She's not going to, like, give you full on privacy to send this message, but you can, like, kind of turn away and kind of quietly whisper into your hand yeah. the message. <clears throat> she's not, like actively trying to eavesdrop sure. on you that you can tell. <laughs> she is an elf, so like, who knows? They got okay. weird magic hearing or something. All of her guards. Or maybe I'll just message just... Sloane, who I know, I know kind of where Sloane is. Mm. And yeah. then have Sloane tell everyone else. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you, like, uh, there's a ladder up to Veteran's room. Veter She's here, she's offering a parlay of sorts. Mm. And is willing to call off the guards if we will meet with her. Do you want me to tell Gemma to stay where she is? <laughs> Maybe just have, if she decides to show up, if she's invisible, that's probably better. But I think if the rest of us show up, I mean. Okay. And again, to be fair, you don't know that Gemma is invisible, but you do know Gemma can become invisible, so it's not a hard stretch to guess she might. Yeah, no, I just assumed yeah. that Gemma had or she's posted further. up in a ring yeah. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so it says I can go through one foot of stone. So I'm gonna assume that I cannot message anybody inside. Um, you probably would not be able to get to Huey. He's too far inside. Yeah. That's okay. Um, I'm just gonna wander around. <laughs> yeah, um, you could definitely get. Um, well, if I saw it's an interesting your predicament. Was. You don't actually like, know where Stewart is either. Yeah. Um, I, you can't actually actually can't no no him. actually based on all of this, uh, I'm gonna say you can get your message to Sloane because you can kind of walk to the far side of the room, and so it's you're only going through like the one wall. Mm -hmm. So you can get it to her. It's mm -hmm. you know, but everybody else is too isolated. I think at this point, for message to work. I mean, if she knows the general direction that Stewart is. You don't. He he ran out like oh, nobody right, spotted yeah. him. He was invisible by the time anybody else came outside. <laughs> Shoot off. <laughs> <laughs> they they'll just they'll just sort of like point and send the message a couple of different directions <laughs> <But> <laughs> and hope it hits somebody. It's an action. His message in there. Are we still in you, combat? Uh, oh, yeah. She's currently got her guards on hold. Okay. okay. So if you guys pull any funny business, you will be back into initiative. <clears throat> but God. currently she is, we are on her initiative, <laughs> but she is holding everybody. Mm -hmm. um, Do we, we don't know where we're going though. I left a ladder. Oh. <laughs> um, his directions were to go to the ladder and climb up to the second. Uh, you guys do know that there is only one there, yeah. there is only the one to the second story. Um, and because the guys came down from the balcony, that means they couldn't have pulled the rope ladder up, so the rope ladder would be dropped mm -hmm. um, if anybody goes outside enough to see that the balcony doors are open. I'm a spooter, so yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah, we're, we're ignoring turn rules of like timing for the time being because she has her guards on a stand down. Mm -hmm. um, so people can move freely for the purposes of like, what are you doing? Since we have decided that like messaging is a little bit borked right now. Mm -hmm. um, I am gonna just go in this order of like declare what you're doing till we get back down to Verity. Okay. So um, Huey, you are currently in the dark. What you get, like this chaos of sound is still happening cause the pebble is still going. Um, but you are not now hearing the same like shuffling movement and like talking from the guards. Like everything has kind of gone still. Mm. What would you like to do? I like to try and move northwards and see if I end up going through door number one or door number two. Um, I mean, you can like get your hand on a wall and like feel your way around. Would that find <coughs> would that door pop open on me if Both I- Both doors are currently open. Oh, then I'd probably fall through that door, wouldn't I? <laughs> are you being a dingus about it or are you like walking <laughs> with your hand along the wall until you find an opening? How well, much of a dum-dum are you being? <laughs> Well, for the flavor of this episode, I'm being kind of a dingus right now. Cool, then you're walking along trying to get around <laughs> the lobby and you just like whoop, um, and you uh, fall in here. You are still in the dark though. And now there's fire. <laughs> no, oh. it's been now deactivated. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, thank God. Because the other guard came in here, but you're, you're still in the dark at the moment. Just, hello, fellow guards. <laughs> 
Who's there? My Lydia. <laughs> You're a fucking liar and we all know it. You can knock it off now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's, uh... I, <laughs> so, uh, can someone tell me where I am? <laughs> I, I don't know. I... I'm just hearing you from the dark, my dude. I'm hearing myself from the dark. You know how confusing this gets? Uh, okay. Uh, just stick your hand out, like, above your, like, in front of you or something, and just, like, wave around. Let me, uh, okay. There Marco! Yeah, and, uh. Marco! He's able to, like, grab you, like, pop you out at the end here. It's just like. Oh, hey, you're actually Marco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> my name's Gregorio, which you would know if you were an actual guard. But okay. <laughs> Guard Corio. <laughs> oh my god. What do you want? I, you know what? No, don't act, don't say anything. I don't want to know. I don't I actually don't want to know. I don't care. I'm assuming you're just trying to rob the place. That Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, just sit your ass down until I know what to do with you. Yeah. Uh, uh can I or Do you want to? Are you gonna do some? Yeah, if you have or an Or maybe take, yeah. just at least take me outside where it's less stuffy and doesn't smell like something was burnt to cinders earlier. Oops. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I'm waiting on orders. I was gonna say making a persuasion check? Sure, you can go ahead and make a persuasion check. I didn't persuade! What well, number did you get? Um, yeah, that was a 10. Okay. No, he looks, he's like, I, look, I also hate this room. It sucks. It's my least favorite place to be in. However, I'm under orders to wait here until the boss says what we're supposed to do. So we're just going to hang. That cool? Can I at least play with the loot while I wait? It's stone. Damn! It's like, <laughs> it, it, it's a carved statue. <coughs> yeah, now I definitely know you're not Valadir. <laughs> Holy shit. No. Stewart. I would like to it's pick a lot. Oh, give me a piece of a Valadir. <laughs> it's spelled the so stupidest way. What is it? Uh, 27? So oh yeah, easy. <laughs> Ping. Yeah. Now I'm gonna, do, do I go into a cage or is it on top of a cage? It is into a cage. You stick your head in and it is a cage with a displacer beast in it. <laughs> We are the worst. <laughs> that's just, I, look. I, I I don't know what to tell you. That's just the way this is the way this is laid out. <laughs> Make friends with the displacer beast. Here, I brought it's in okay. some representations. So <laughs> birds, lizards, and snakes. Oh. Uh, Displacer beast, displacer beast. Oh, I have some uh, at home too. Why would there be a window to the displacer beast cage? I had the same question, and the reason is because they knew this exact moment was gonna happen. It was a present for me. So the I'm assuming these cages are magically sealed. No, they are not. They are sealed with a very rudimentary latch. So they can just <laughs> escape. It says, like, it says rudimentary flash very specifically in the book. Well, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to step inside and then I'm going to misty step across okay. the way, so that <laughs> cool. I don't have to <laughs> fight a displacer beast. Fight him, yes. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Smart. Um, cool. Uh, you can end up like anywhere over here. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and then mm -hmm. I'll. So I mean, because I heard Gemma say, Gemma did just course. you just yeah. in here, and is in a room with a. Uh, I'm gonna keep. Yeah, it's a bad rug. Sir. Yeah, I was gonna say you can bad see rug. through this open door that there yeah. is a room in here with a rug. It is the only floor covering you have seen. Uh, I'm going to walk into the room and <laughs> walk onto the rug. <laughs> oh my god! Great. Can um, I? Oh, I can't like, <laughs> catch you. No, you're invisible, and I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> you know the other one's there. This is such a disaster. I'm just double this, is why, this is why I didn't want to stop being an initiative, because there were so much more bad things to happen. I mean, we're still kind of in initiative. Like, yeah. like, we're still in 
initiative. Well, the guards <laughs> aren't really doing anything. You to like, uh. <laughs> your initiative is just the guards are not trying to actively attack you. Cool. Okay. Great. Uh, you step on the rug. You hear a click. <laughs> Sloan, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you, did, you also you hear the see, click. You, you don't see anything, but you hear a click. <laughs> no, I'm just wondering if, if the you saw the window open or heard the window open or the rope. She's fully in the other room. No, oh yeah, the rope is Sloan. there. Uh, for I, Sloan, I uh, Sloan, you would have seen a rope randomly appear as a window opened no, the way. Let's do it. If you were paying right. attention. Going the opposite <laughs> direction. Going to Verity's window. Oh my god. Cool. Um, we're fudging time rules here, so I'm just gonna let you. Oh, <gasps> oh, thanks. You are no longer on the map because you are on the second. I map. spider climb. <laughs> uh, you poke your head. You see hey. a really hot elf lady sitting oh. on a uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, chat with maybe not chatting with Verity, but like with Verity. <laughs> Okay. With the guard that you know is very. <laughs> yeah, with the guard that you know that is very. Yeah, that's true. You're still again. Stressed. I am Sloan in a boiler suit. Yeah, I so you are just yourself. <laughs> just myself. Oh. Okay, that's two. Come on in. Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I, I assume we're waiting for more. Uh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> As in, there aren't more of you, or as in, maybe we shouldn't wait? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, were, uh, as in, I... I think just the one more with, uh... Haven't... Balladeer. Really, yeah, he... I think there's no point in waiting, because... He was pretty in the darkness down there. Boys, if you find anyone else who is uh, explicitly not who they seem to be, if you could just bring them on upstairs, that would be great, thank you. <laughs> Just bring him up to the balcony. Can I do deception to like convince her that it's just the three of us? Uh, yeah. Roll me a deception check to see how how much she's. I will assist. If well, I got a twenty-five. Well, yeah. whatever. <laughs> no, she's she's like, uh, let's just give it a couple more minutes in case any of the fellas <coughs> downstairs. Uh, I really, you know, sure. I thought I was. I really should have put more of the ladies on the uh, night shift. They seem to be generally more competent. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake on my part. I mean, you're not wrong. You know, you I really try not to tra- engage in stereotyping. I'm just saying my specific crew, this has proven to be accurate. Well, you know, you really should treat some of your workers better. And they, that's how we were able to get in so easily. There was a disgruntled ex-employee of yours. Uh-huh. Oh... I could see how that might have happened. There was yeah. also a really, 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 really talkative gnomish woman. Oh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to let her go, which is a shame. She's one of the best security people I've ever had, but she could not shut up about everything she was doing, which is sort of like the main flaw of being in securities, <laughs> don't you know? I feel like she had some pretty good ideas that might have served you well here, though. You know, in another time and another place, I certainly would have had a much better position for her that she was more suited for, but given my current situation <clears throat> and my lack of access to uh, the funds and uh, uh, structures that I once had, uh, unfortunately there wasn't anything to it. Don't worry, she's uh, very well compensated. Her girlfriend and I play bridge together, so oh, no that's lovely. getting around it. Gorgeous. Do I think that she's lying? I mean, that's <coughs> a check. Because I remember she lies a lot. That is what you were told. She is Miss Lies a lot. Uh, you may have an advantage on I did. that. I have a, I have a bardic have a, inspiration. Well, also because I did the inspirational, motivational speech. Or was that just oh, saving throws? That's saving throws. That was wisdom. Damn! Damn. <laughs> wisdom okay. saving throws. Comma was drawn. It's okay. Eight. Eight. Um... Either she is telling you the 100% truth, or she brutally murdered that person and dumped their body in a river. Could go either way. Could go either way. Don't no know. middle ground, okay. obviously. <laughs> Given how hot and wearing yeah. black she is, I'm going to say murder. I just want to be clear. I know I have a reputation for the hot NPC trope. This is canon in the book. This yeah. one's not my fault. Yes. Yeah. I believe you. Uh, anyway. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, Gemma. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say just out loud, Stuart, I hope you did not just step on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> I specifically said Stuart. It's like a bad vibe rug, and you heard it click, right? 
<laughs> yep. Okay. All right. <coughs> Can I figure out what it has clicked? You should get out of this room. Probably. Before, yeah. before the beginning of my next turn. I'm gonna fly <laughs> over to the double doors. <laughs> After I explicitly told you not to step on the bad Um, vibes rug. Um, can I listen at this door? Uh, yeah, give me a perception check. In Stuart's defense, there was a lot of exotic, (laughs) exotic, you rug, you know, a lot of, a lot of. There's a lot of input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, That's true. That's fair. (laughs) Wasn't worth it. Um, (laughs) six. Um, I mean, you don't hear anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna ease it open and kind of stay to the side. Mm-hmm. Quixotic, 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 quixotic. <laughs> um <laughs> and then peek through. Is there anybody? Um, the ten foot wide pit with spikes at the bottom divides the room from east to west. A sturdy looking stone bridge st- spans the pit. The room is dimly lit by a flickering lamp on the north wall. Um, and on the south of the pit is a spiral metal staircase going up. Now, Stuart, <laughs> <laughs> if you make it off of the rug, there is a pit in here with spikes. <laughs> Are you also- <laughs> going to step on the spikes. <laughs> or uh, Yeah. Okay. All right. Um Do you have like a, a letter or something you want me to pass on to somebody? <laughs> your wife? Yeah. Your wife, your new Well, I don't have a letter cuz I didn't wasn't planning on dying. <laughs> that was your first All mistake. Right. <laughs> um if you're still savable, I'll throw a healing potion at you. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I'm gonna slip into the next room and just kind of, not all the way, but like pull the door most of the way closed. Sorry, where are you headed? Into the next, into the pit room. Okay. Into the corner. Cool. No, corner, Sorry. yeah. Yeah, cool. You are there in the pit room. Be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you close the door? <laughs> not all the way. Cool. Um, Verity, we are back up to you. Um, you are, uh, if you would like to do anything. You are here. Um, S- Sloan has arrived. Viterant is just like perched on her desk. Um, she has like some, like out of nowhere has just like, you know, like has like a gem has appeared and she's just like rolling it over her knuckles <laughs> back and forth. Oh, now I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> she's showing off now. <laughs> Coffee, anybody? Uh, would you like something to drink? Forgive my manners. Uh, we've got coffee, tea, liquor, yeah, I don't, water. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything specifically. I think I'm just going to cool. think. Just hang out for hang a second. Out. Cool. Um, uh, Viteran is holding her turn because she's waiting for your third party member um, and has sent a message. Um, Huey, uh, guy in front of you, is like, all right, uh, we're going <coughs> to... Yeah, we got to go figure out how to get upstairs. Okay, um, well... Yeah, I guess we're going back through the dark. Um, let's go, <laughs> bud. Uh, and he's gonna just kind of like clap a hand on your shoulder and sort of like, like could drop it, but it's march fun you. Not to. It's much funnier if you don't. Is the thing. Um, it, there is some fumbling. <laughs> but since you're not in like active combat, now you're able to kind of like he kind of like shows you through. I'm just you actively right concentrating on it. Um, yeah, just, and now my chance to escape. <laughs> Um, do you, you I mean, you can no. try if you want. No. But he starts pushing you out. If you just continue going with him, he uh, gets you out here. You see a bunch of uh, disgruntled looking guards, including Greg, um, I, who does have your weapon. I look at everyone. <coughs> can I offer you some coins for a certain uh, expeditious retreat? How many? You came in here, you accused me of being crazy, you beat the ever-loving crap out of me, you tried to turn all my friends against me, and now you're trying to bribe me? <laughs> I mean... How many coins, bud? How many are you looking for? More than you have. Move along. If you have to ask, you don't have enough. 
was never good at math. I was only a history major. Um, he pops you around uh, to the rope ladder, <laughs> uh, walks you up to the, or <laughs> nudges you up the rope ladder to the balcony where you see the doors are now open. And uh, you enter this room where you see this hot elf lady perched on a desk. Uh, and you see the guards you know is Verity and Sloan. This guy. Huey doesn't even notice them at first. He is just so starstruck. He lets out <laughs> an oddly high pitched squeal for a man his size. <laughs> and just like, Huey Salana Fanarant! Why, yes, I am. Hey oh. there. Okay, tell me, how do you. How many of your stories are true? Did you really steal a lost map of Thesanos? And did you actually, or did you actually have a thesis of someone named Morton, sir? I'm curious, I heard so many epic things about you. Well, well. Always nice to meet a fan. Generally prefer uh, not meeting them when they're breaking into my private sanctum, but uh, I'll take what I can get. Does uh, that mean you're not gonna kill us? Well, now that remains to be seen, now doesn't it? Because we're going to have to have a little chat, three of you and I, about what it is that you're doing here and what it is you're looking for. Are you just uh, thrill-seeking, trying to prove that you can get past my impenetrable defenses? Or are you looking for something in particular? Because I've heard a bit of a rumor, little birdies whispering in my ear, that uh, a particular somebody is out to get me. Look at a Verity. But uh, I'm sure some sweet folks like you wouldn't be working for a rascal like that now, would you? Of course not. So then what is it you're looking for? Fame? Glory? Wealth? It's not a lot of, you got a lot of valuables here. It's true. If it's just valuables you're after, may I propose a... Uh, an agreement. You let me make a big old show of kicking you all out of here. Talk it up about how you tried so hard to get into my vault and did not succeed. Was summarily removed from the premises. Really talk it up in the underworlds, whatever your corners of them might be. Uh, and in exchange, I'll give you this. And she uh, indicates like a ring on her finger, which she sort of pulls off and starts rolling in conjunction with the crystal. It's a very valuable ring. Could be very useful in your line of work. Uh, take this, maybe a little coin to sweeten the deal. You can split up amongst the three of you and uh, <coughs> I just let you go. We pretend this never happened. So you don't want to kill us. Oh, I mean, I very much want to kill you if that's going to resolve the problem of you trying to come back. But if we can just come to an agreement of you not trying anything like this again and perhaps, uh, you know, spreading a little rumor here and there on my behalf, uh, maybe we don't have to get to the murdering. She do have a one quick question. Well, maybe two, depending. Oh, ask away. So, I can't guarantee I'll answer, but so, I'll hear anything else. So, one. Uh, who is this rascal you're talking about? <laughs> she's making an insight check to see if you actually would know or not. Um, she smiles and goes, hmm. So you're not working for a fella called Goldenbeard? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which leads to my second question. Why are they, why would they be after you? Like, this like they're not after stuff, they're after <clears throat> you? Oh, they are after my reputation. Uh, also, I think my stuff. Um, this aforementioned golden beard uh, is a fella who I used to work with in the past who has uh, made it a personal goal of his to, uh, obtain all of my valuables, rub my name in the mud, and uh, remove me from all organizations that we used to work in together. Um, so far, he has been unfortunately successful, and I would like his success to end here. 
So, if you did, say, happen to be working on his behalf, looking for maybe a particular item of uh, significance to, say, a royal dwarf, I would be more inclined to do violence against you if you were not willing to take my deal. As you see, um, I do not like the company that Goldenbeard is keeping these days. In addition to the fact that he has uh, not allowed me my rightful place in our former uh, affiliation, he has been making deals in directions that I do not think it is prudent to go. And I would like to see that end. So, um, but again, none of this should matter to any of you since you're not working for Mr. Goldenbeard, are you? It's certainly a generous offer. I mean, considering that I could just kill you all right now and throw your bodies in the river, I think I'm being eminently reasonable. Do I remember, I, I'm having trouble recalling, I know that we heard that there were people who attempted this before, but were unsuccessful. Do we know if those people survived? Uh, Goldenbeard was incredibly evasive. Uh, the only thing he would tell you is that the people who attempted this before and who did not succeed were not members, were not made members of the society. Okay. Um, you have no way of knowing if that was at her hand or his. Sure. <laughs> or what that actually means. Sure, 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 sure. Hmm. I'd like to kind of stall her a little bit knowing that they're still out there. Sure. Yeah, you guys can sort of, you know, run this in circles for a yeah. bit. Uh, we'll cut over real quick to Stuart and Jama. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, what are you guys doing down in your invisible playtime? Uh, well, surviving whatever trap I <laughs> So far, nothing has happened. Stuart, I uh, have an idea. Back I, in the room. <laughs> I misty step into the room. As we can't see you as you're both up there. Oh, into where? <laughs> into here, so that I don't Damn. step off of that thing. Sure. Great. Cast Never it. mind. Negates my idea. <laughs> Cast that spell. <laughs> um, Gemma, I just missed you. <laughs> <laughs> there was mist in the other room, and then there isn't. Yeah. And you hear <coughs> two light footfalls. Okay. Um. So should we? Should we walk over that bridge then? Let's. Can we, can we just stop? Can, do you do like you have the like the investigator thing, right? Or, or you're not usually this reckless. I don't know what's happening. Marriage has changed you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a time crunch that we're under. Oh, we really have to There's no time crunch. Okay. I need to get, I need to hear this conversation. Okay. okay. <laughs> Can we? Ch can I check the bridge for traps? <laughs> um, yes, please give me an investigation check. Okay, and can or I can yes. I assist you over no. with no. my flight, oh, oh. hopping over? I can. I can jump that without a problem. Can you? Yeah. Great. Let's just go over it. <laughs> cool. Um, well, still give me should... the investigation check for my funsies, so I can tell you a thing or not. Okay. Can I look at the landing spot? Actually, I can, I can jump that. Oh, mm. <laughs> Uh, I'm not worried there's like an invisible wall in there. 22. 22. Um, that bridge <laughs> is not a bridge. Yeah. It is an illusion. Illusion. Um, but weirdly enough, it you're pretty sure as you kind of get up to the edge and kind of like nudge your foot along, you're like right along, and it's like pit, 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 thonk. It's over mm. here. <laughs> do you want to do a little like trust bridge? <laughs> uh, not <laughs> No, oh. I'm just gonna use my rapier and tab along. Um, yeah, you collectively with your uh, reasonably good investigations and uh, your dingus abilities, you're able to jump slash float slash whatever um, over the uh, over the pit to, I guess I should have revealed this before, I apologize, because we did already narrate. Oh, stairs. stairs. Boom, boom, it's stairs. We should go slowly and check for traps. Yes, <laughs> thank you. They're gonna um, turn into a slide and yeah. goes right into the pit. <laughs> as you are, as you are getting ready to um, head up the stairs, uh, Gemma, your phone pings, or your stone oh. pings. Wait, wait, I'm invisible. <laughs> yeah, um, you pull it out um, again. As we've established, you have three numbers in your phone. Yeah. This is not from any of those numbers. Mm. Who's it from? Um, 
it is from an anonymous number um, and it is a photo of your manuscript and in big red letters on like the title page, like, mm -hmm. you know, um, you see that there's a note written on it that says, um, excellent prose could use better fact checking. Cool. Man, we went there. We were there. <clears throat> we did the facts. Uh, Stuart, do you recognize the number 555-557? <laughs> I do not know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you see him putting his phone away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What did you find it? <laughs> He's the editor. <laughs> He's ghost editing our paper. Uh, um, give me... This is, uh... No, no, we'll hold on that. Um, I mean, you were like tapping each step, cool. looking. Yeah, you guys make your way up the not trapped, actually normal <coughs> stairs. These are like one of the most reasonably. Do uh, you have ascending stone? Probably. I think we've established every four numbers. Um, okay, four numbers. Great. Great. I would also just like to um, just send the same photo to Sloane and just be like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. Uh, 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 this is no, your publisher. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> we were there. We were there. Sorry. Okay. Business no, plan. no. Uh, I understand. Uh, take take business uh, where you need to. Mm. Um. Fried chicken. <laughs> now, uh, do we have a deal? Um, well, I think given the alternative. What does that ring do? Oh, it allows you to get out of sticky situations. Okay. <laughs> Is this one of those things where I should be like tapping my nose or something? Uh, you know, say you were uh, in a position where you wished to um, evade your captors. Mm. Yes, this would assist you in mm. that. Mm. Mm -hmm. For a certain number of times. So that ring's a day. gonna do real good. Between three people. What kind of thieves <laughs> are you that don't know how to turn <clears throat> over a valuable ring into something more easy? I mean, I can splittable? make that, so. I, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I'm more of a musician. I'm just kind of. Hmm. So hey, what wait, I'm wait, hearing is uh, no deal. I think. What we're trying to say is, I don't think we really need the ring. I think if we could just get on out of here, that'd be great. So you don't want anything? I mean, if you want to give us some gold, that'd be fine, but like, I mean, well, if can you're I throwing in the ring, if you're gonna just get rid of the ring. Can I do an insight check? Sure. Thank you. What are you, Somebody yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say, what are you, what are you looking for? Uh, to see, it's like, it's one of the things where, hintity hinted, you might want to take the ring, because oh. we know you're in trouble. Okay. Wisdom, right. Sorry, my brain shat itself. Uh, that is a 15. 15. Um, it doesn't seem to be that she wants you to take the ring. It seems to be that she is suspicious of you guys not wanting to make a deal. Uh, like, you guys have come up, you have heard her out, you have not done any begging, you have not made any counter offers, you have not offered her any information. She does not believe you guys just want to leave. <clears throat> so she is now, she is, she is on guard for what you're up to. I mean, doesn't hurt to take it. Sure, I guess. I can duplicate it and yeah. All right. It's a very it's a very generous offer, I think. We've decided. Yeah, I wanna live. I mean most of us do. Yeah, most of the time. I to roll for her to see if she has another piece of information. Hmm, oh, interesting. Um Uh she kinda scans across and then she <clears throat> looks back at you and Duplicate it. Yeah. 
I mean, if that's like, I, I offer my services to the underworld quite frequently. If that's something that you indeed need, uh, I could provide those services to you for a nominal fee. I'd certainly be interested in hearing more about that. My last fella who used to take care of things like that for me hasn't been returning my calls. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe yeah. we know each other. Maybe. Would you care to give me his name? Oh, he was one of them silver beards. Dwarfen fella. Ran a shop out in the bad end of town. Well, the, the more bad than this end of town. Would I, would the Dwarven Weeb know anything about Silverbeards? You know that the Silverbeard clan, like the Goldenbeard clan, is also one of the Southern Dwarven clans. Gotcha. That's, that's about all, like, without more information, you wouldn't necessarily know this guy, but you have heard of the clan. Mm-hmm. Good enough. Yeah. Theodorus? Yeah, that's the fella. Real nice fella. Always did good work for me. Didn't like my partner much, but I think that was a, you know, little bit of infighting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, no, um, honestly, I think it was uh, my ex-partner was the reason he stopped working with us. They had some sort of beef about something. Okay. Do I believe her? Insight check. Okay. I, you know, I did hear you had you and your former partner did have a bit of a falling out. I was so sad to hear about that. Yes, it was quite unfortunate. We really could have had a good thing going, but uh, he decided that family pride was more important than finishing the job. That's all right. I got a few things up my sleeve to make sure that he uh, gets knocked off his high horse. 18. You believe her. No, like you, like, she doesn't seem to be. Like this actually happened, it was. Like this actually happened. Beard, that was the problem. Like it was Golden Beard's <coughs> problem. Okay, look. Um, I need to know more about what you know about Silverbeard. And I'm gonna tell you right now, these guys ain't got nothing to do with it. So if you, you know, wanna do anything after I say this, do it to me. But yes, we were sent here by Golden Beard. And knowing what I know now, I regret every minute of it. Silverbeard was family. Well, I too would like to know what's up with him, and I certainly hold no love in my heart for Goldenbeard after that two-faced, backstabbing motherfucker took me out of their business. So perhaps we can work together. Uh, Sloane, you're sending stone pings. I look at it. I'm so sorry. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, unknown number. Uh, it is a picture of Petey. He is tied up. He is in a dark space. And uh, he has a sign pinned to him that says, you're in too deep. Stuart, do you have a sending stone? No. Cool. You get a message, or a sending, rather. A sending. In the back of your brain. Uh, from your wife. Holy shit, holy shit, I think they found me. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. It's almost like, it's almost like she doesn't even have a chance to like, comprehensively put together the message. It's she's just trying to alert you. Um, and the last thing you get is don't go back to the office. Holy, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that, my friends, is where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging with us. I know we ran a little bit over time, but I appreciate it. We are not gonna do an after dark uh, tonight, so we'll uh, try to hit some bonus stuff next time because we ran over. But thank you all for uh, joining us this evening. Uh, coming up, uh, Redacted Reports resumes tomorrow. We had a little hiatus, but that'll be back on uh, if you're listening to that. Uh, keep an eye on Inspiration Point if you're listening to that as well. Um, uh, GDS, Horizon on the Orient Express, is back this Saturday uh, at 6 p.m. here on the Quests and Chaos YouTube, and we will be back to uh, 
resolve question uh, mark this whole uh, module. We will at least be wrapping up the Vitorance Vault module and this weird side quest that I have added to it. Um, next Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you always for your uh, your bits, your cards, your support. Uh, this week, please leave a comment on your favorite video. Your comments and your likes on our YouTube really help boost the algorithm. Uh, and if you're not a member of our Discord, please join it. That is where you're going to get all of the best updates on our scheduling. Uh, the arenas are back. We're plotting in the background. So uh, if you like watching just a lot of chaotic, even more chaotic fighting than this, actually, <laughs> um, uh, those will be coming back up. And we have cool uh, perks if you are a patron uh, that allow you to submit characters for those arenas. Uh, it's late. I will stop talking. Thank you all always for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye.